shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And, of course, Jeff. Guys, if you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pandora, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok. So if you click on the link, it'll take you directly to the episodes. And, of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like subscribe ring the notification bell and of course leave us a comment again guys thank you again for joining us at the tabletop let's jump right into it oh well no oh now you just done fucked up well yeah time to close it out yeah we started oh Oh, yep what happened well yeah (laughs) yeah (laughs) i got it i got it wait 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 (laughs) Bro, it was working. We do it live. We do it live. Fuck it. Damn. Shit. Yeah, we do it live. We do it live. <laughs> All right, there you go. We do it live, guys. Yeah. We do it live. See? Bro, when we, we, we fuck up, when we fuck, when we fuck up, we fuck up live, man. <laughs> we fuck up live. I'm going to clip that. But oh, uh, yeah, man, I'm digging this new camera angle. I mean, we've never done it before. This is more spacious. It, it takes all of us at, all at once. Everybody right. can see what's going on at the table. Right. So I mean, I really mm-hmm. like. I'm really digging this. So it's really nice. So, but we have a our editor. Back at it again. It's your boys. Yeah. Smoke. I got this. Uh, uh, you uh, already uh, fucking uh, it up. He's all right. <laughs> yeah. He's about to give it to us. Give it. Yep. Yeah. What it is, guys? It is your boy Smoke the Reaper. We are back. Ho, 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 motherfuckers. <sighs> Unfortunately, we're another podcast. Now, fuck y'all. Y'all already know why I'm here. You already know. Mm-hmm. Every mm-hmm. time I come on here, it's about to be very outlandish and it's about to be. You lit. what? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Uh shit, man. It is what it is, man. It is. So what's going on, man? When's the last time we uh we we uh met up with you? What was it like? June, July, one of those. Shit, it's, it's, it's been a little bit. It's been bro, six months. The year be a motherfucker, man. Yeah, it's been six months. Oh. Yeah, the six months has gone by quick. I'm not gonna lie. 2023 went by relatively quick for I, me, at least. I don't know about no, you. No, I feel it, bro. Yeah. I've been we've been blazing through. Yeah, it, man. blazing and autopiloting to yeah, it, through it, man. Oof, Just nah. waiting for the. The robot uprising next year. Right? Shit. What? right. Are you ready for that? What? They're going to take over. Oh, that Terminator shit. What? They're going to be destroying all Metal of us. Metal Skynet. Human kind. Bro, we get that Tesla bot. Bro, beep, beep, bop, boo, boo. <laughs> get the fuck out of here, bro. What the fuck? Uh, the rise of robosexuals, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas trying to get their sex robots ready. That's going to be crazy. Uh, I, shit. I already, I, wait, what the fuck is to, robosex bro, robots? To man? this day, you already know where it's going. Come on, bro. <laughs> You, you know exactly cyber, cyber, going cyberpunk going, uh, 2077. You already know. You've seen cyberpunk. Yep. You've seen what's the other one where she tricked them? Uh, uh, oh, oh, ex machina. Ex machina. Yeah, yeah. You see Futurama. Mm-hmm. We already know where it's Marilyn going. Marilyn Monroe. That's we already know it's going. I already told any of my boys if I catch you with a <laughs> a robo girlfriend, it's over. Yeah, we can't we can't talk, bro. We can't be friends. What the anymore. fuck is that? Wait, time out, nigga. The robot. Wait, you was about it? to be in line like this? An no, iPhone? No. Oh yeah, hell? hell yeah. He's trying, the iPhone release? He's trying to get the next model. What the heck? <laughs> Why you gotta put me out blast? Like I'm that, telling right? you, man. That, that's he, fucked up. He's like, this one's filled up. I need a new model. <laughs> you oh, trees will be remembered. Oh, hey, uh, oh. shit. Treason is hey, what this is. Oh, oh shit. Hey, yo. That reminded me of Rick and Morty. That was crazy. Yeah, not Rick and Morty. What the fuck? That, that was, was crazy. Y'all, I re- y'all remember that episode, bro? When he went to that intergalactic pawn shop with Rick and then he found uh, the freaking sex bot. Oh yeah, Damn. and he brought it home. And he brought it home. And he brought it home. And this man, <laughs> every five seconds they be having dinner. Dude was scarfed down his food. All right, I'm going upstairs to uh. And then he accidentally study. He accidentally got uh the, uh, the something pregnant. <laughs> he got the robot pregnant and had a son. Dog, that shit was trip. <laughs> oh, that was nuts. Oh, oh, that was nuts. <laughs> that shit was trip, man. But hey, oh, that's wait. that future's right around the corner. Yeah, man. it is. You already know. Look, look, I'm just waiting for a uh, 2035 iRobot. You understand how quickly oh, I will cut off my that motherfucking That is the prophecy, home? ain't it? Yeah. Bro, look, Terminator legs, bruh. All right, I would lean on kick the shit out of somebody. You want bionic it. legs, Nah, bro? you don't want bionic legs. Here's the thing about going bionic. Bro. Let's get it. You can't feel shit. I don't give a fuck about my legs. Why? From the knee, okay, above the knee. It, and... right? What's fun? What's, okay, 
when you were a kid and you were jumping on a trampoline, what was fun about jumping on the trampoline? You could feel the, yourself the fly, adrenaline right. of me damn near dying okay. and landing on my neck. So, so if your whole body's cyber, you I don't want the whole body. I oh, just, just want your the legs. legs. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, well, you know he, what? He's gonna be like that that uh, Olympic runner that ran so fast. Not he, tink tink he, tink. He, tink. <laughs> He dislocated. He dislocated his his hip. Oh, you talking about Bo Jackson? Yeah, Bo Jackson. No, he crazy. ran so fast he dislocated his he upper torso because he, he ran his out leg. his his torso. Bro, bro I'm fucking That's weak. crazy. That's, like, That's some Looney Tunes shit. Yeah, bro. Look, I would. In all honesty, I would be happy because the right leg. Uh, you already know my knees hurt. So yeah, yeah. Above the uh, right leg, bionic knees. I'll be cool. Just take that some bitch off. I'll be yeah. crazy. As right up. arm, just right here. And I'll be cool. Oh, he's trying to break and punch everything. That'd be <laughs> cool, bro. He get in a fight. Look, I'll and be his a... kneecap opened up. A little fist come out that motherfucking <laughs> uppercut. <laughs> Not only do you get knee, and then you get an uppercut from the knee, bro. Imagine <laughs> that shit. He gonna get. He gonna get. He gonna get knee punched. <laughs> oh man, that'd be uh, crazy, man. That's crazy, man. But nah, that's sketch. I don't know if you've been like keeping up with like the new Tesla bots and shit like that. I've hit, read here and there. It's about weird, it dog. It's weird as fuck. Especially like when you see it. And it's like your eyes want to be like, okay, this shit is CGI, bro. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, but then it's like, nah, man. I don't know. It's I've been, weird. I've been really keeping up with um our new weapons and everything mm -hmm. that have been coming out. So I don't know if you guys read up on it, but... um One trillion dollar military. No, oh, yeah, we almost there. Have you guys heard it's some Star Wars shit? It's oh, lasers. Like, the lasers. Not just lasers. No. Well, the, I know, the, I know the about the rod. Reactors and everything. So you know how the 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 veterans, Republic veterans, are powered and everything. Mm -hmm. and uh -huh. shit? Plasma and everything. We have that, bro. And we're working on that right fucking now. So they're, see, they're trying to create actual lightsabers. Not just lightsabers. I'm not talking lightsabers. about the ships like and actual... they, 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 like oh, the ships and shit. That now okay, we even go into light speed. Bro, they're talking force, about fucking man. going into light speed, bro. Space Imagine force, that. Man. But and that's the thing. You do you think? Okay, let's say we do build them. Thing. You think humans can pilot that shit? Hell no. No, they're going to have uh, robots. I was saying another 100 years. They're going to have robots. AI. Well, that's where the whole becoming bionic comes in. Word. Mm -hmm. Nigga. All right. I'll be fucking damn. All right. <laughs> Fuck, that's where we're becoming bionic. Like, I'm cool. I don't like this. Pilot that motherfucker. What the fuck? Like, it's a Gundam, bro. What it's a hell? Gundam. That'd be crazy look, as hell. Look, look, look. All right. All I'm waiting for is for them to the government come to my house right now and say, can we have a sample of your blood so we can make clones? By all means. No, they already it. have it. You know, every time you go get blood tests and all that stuff like that, they got you know, it. You know how long ago that that was? They need new. Refrigerated. They need that new blood. Refrigerated. They, they just, need they, new they, blood, They mutated, damn it. bro. Nah, they, bro. Vic, they a new, Vic a new nigga, bro. What? That's real shit? <laughs> Vic a whole new person. What what they say? You replace all your cells, like, within... A week? I think... No, every cell in your body is, like replaced within what two years or something like two that years, okay. two to three years you replace every single cell which is why we age slow i don't know compared to what who the hell is we <laughs> that's all i'm saying compared age to what slow. we age I, slow. sir i'm 22 and i look like i'm 32 what the hell are you talking about <laughs> oh my god he's our age <laughs> <laughs> no that's wild that's how many wild. times do i have to tell you old man <laughs> nah but they could be reversed with that new gene therapy now that you know that is true what the I look like paying for that, bro. This is like well, points. you know that's just okay. Here's the thing: you think you're gonna have to pay for it, but mm -hmm. what's gonna end up happening is they're gonna give it to you without your your choice. Put that bitch in the water. Put it in yeah, your so food. You know. Okay, see, uh, it, that's uh, cool. They put you in my water. I drink water all day, every day. So you know yeah, what? By all means, yeah, okay, it's they gonna fucking reverse it. age me. I'm gonna be like, oh, that'd be crazy. I'll yeah. be 16 at 42 mm -hmm. and shit. Oh, that'd that's not crazy. good. Yeah. Okay, yeah, hold up. Man. Or is it just aging, or does it have mindset aging as well? Because that's everything. It's, everything. It's that's like, not good, bro. Well, hey, I'll be forty-two with my sixteen-year-old mindset. Do you no, understand no, 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 what no, I was no, doing no, 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 at sixteen? Not, not like not. the knowledge will stay. The knowledge will stay. The, the, You'll the, just look the like the cells will just be young. But what's oh, well, I don't peak, give a damn. What's peak human body though? for men? It's what like 30, 35? Really? Is that I, work? I thought it was. That's when you get grown man strength. Motherfucker, what? I thought it was like twenty. Why you think your grandpa be strong as fuck for no reason? Yeah, I wouldn't fucking know. I never met him. He got like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, you ain't met an old motherfucker in your life. I've met under old the people. right conditions, not a the right fucking white van. You know, hey. damn, that's fucked up. <laughs> no, I'm, uh, oh, I'm gonna go get milk, son. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> you what? Um. Okay, so how old are we talking about here? When we when we say I'd old, probably man. say like. 
probably like a seasoned 65 to 75. You don't realize how, you don't see how they be strong as hell for no reason, bro. Okay, so if we're talking about that, then yeah, I've met a couple of those, and you are right, because they're always from the Vietnam era. Word. And those, those be the ones that they, you just hear them talk one good time. I could be friends with you, because oh, we, could, we could talk about a lot of fucked up that. shit here. I feel that. From anywhere from skinning people to scalping people. Oh, yeah, for to sure. To just starting fires and oh, shit. Oh, you are, you are, bro, I was in the, I was in kindergarten or the first grade where they brought vietnam war vets no it was either vietnam or world war ii mm-hmm. i've had conversations with them as well bro. i think it, it was world war, a world war ii vet mm-hmm. and like me and mine we're all like <laughs> five six years old and this motherfucker giving us graphic detail yep. uh uh battling That's in japan crazy. and shit like they legit the shit had, that they had to do y'all, Marine. These, bro they legit had ninjas bro like they actually had ninjas. They deployed in the ninjas. In yeah, they actually Japan oh, actually because remember they were still uh, empirical Japan, mm-hmm. so they still had like swords. They still believed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was uh, samurais and all that stuff like it, that. It was pretty much the uh, like the commanders and everything that had swords and Word. everything. So they wore a totally different uniform. Gotcha. Than the regular uh, imperial units and Army everything. And shit. So they would wear more of a um, like a grayish looking uniform with a with a cap mm-hmm. and everything. Compared to the rest where they had, um, I forgot what it's called, but it protects your neck and everything. Oh, okay. They, they would use that because of how hot it was. Yeah. So, yeah. they was the main ones to carry, like, swords and everything. So, they would charge and talk about some bonsai shit. Baby, you get your punk ass bonsai! out of here with that goddamn sword, bro. Shove it right up your ass. Like, what the fuck? Nah, bro, it, baby, was... it was wild. Have you heard some of the stories from just the Pacific Theater That's alone? Crazy. About what they was doing mm. over there? Yeah, and you'll be like... Crazy. Because you got to understand, it was like death or glory. That's it. Yeah, glory yeah. or Mahala. Yeah. Bro. You see what I'm saying? It was like, death, like yeah. bro, we're flying. We're sitting on bombs with wings, and we fly. Uh, and then we just drop them. That's crazy. I, I forgot what battle it was. I think it was like right before, right after the Battle of Peleliu, but the Americans were positioned in this one spot. It was, it's in the show. Um, it's on Netflix right now. It's... Uh, War in the Pacific or some shit. It's something. It's something Pacific. I think I know what you're talking about. But um, they would nighttime, right? Mm-hmm. And it all you hear is bonsai. They cut the fucking uh, the barbed wire and everything, and you just hear bonsai. The Americans are holding their ground with Jeez. like two machine guns Jeez. and everything, and they Fuck. have M ones. M ones carry eight rounds. Rounds. Uh, M one. A1 Carbine carries 15, but it's like 9 millimeter rounds and everything. Word. And these motherfuckers are legit shooting at everything that moves. Anything. Because you in the jungle. Black, yeah, bro. yeah. You can't see shit. They're just shooting. I'm like, that's, bro, it would be at this exact terrible. moment where Damn, I, that's I, crazy. I mean, on everything, I would start chucking grenades, grenades out this motherfucking. <laughs> the whole ammo. Everybody well, going Dougie, nigga. Every- it's going to be Call of Duty, World at War, Relentless out this bitch, bro. <laughs> Everybody knows that uh, mission. Shit, man. <laughs> on veteran? Oh, uh, on veteran, bro. Chucking grenades back. That's crazy. Like, mm-hmm. nah, I'm not, I'm not that about to deal crazy. with that. Damn that. Because you got to understand, you know what I'm saying? Like, you dealing with that, because mm-hmm. that's their territory. Yep. They already know that, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. You got snipers in the trees. Mm-hmm. See, I was on the Pacific Theater. You, you right on that one. So the Japanese were really, really smart. So say we could have a bunker somewhere right here, mm-hmm. a bunker right here, and here, and here. All mm-hmm. of them were connected because they used to dig a tunnel. Yeah. The Americans found out about this the hard way. So if they took over this bunker, they would put C4 in this blow it the fuck up and then start working their way to the other bunkers. burn them out and not even just burn them out because some of them were like they would be stuck in the tunnel so once Word. the damn shits are you know done they exploded they caved in on you where are you going you yeah you're you ain't going you're nowhere done. so there's you're stories done. about the uh america not the, the americans would uh hear um grenades going off and that was the japanese killing themselves they had a different style grenade so our grenades, we you know we have the pin and everything. Mm-hmm. We pin, yep. With them, all you got to do is just, and they will hold it to their chest and it will blow up. Oh, it's like kill switch, oh, like yep. Wow. And there's a there's Shit. a um I didn't notice, but in World at War and the the uh, second Japanese mission, <laughs> there's a uh, bunker that you can go into and you can see this happen. I didn't notice, so I looked it up. Leave me alone, Mike. You know I'm over here. <laughs> the fuck you think this is? Oh, man. Um, there's a, there's a bunker life. in that game. Mm-hmm. And if you go in and you'll see it. The, the soldier, he holds it to him and he blows himself up. Jeez. The Japanese believed if um, they went into enemy t- hands that 
it was dishonorable right the time period right yeah, yeah. so everything yeah. was honor mm-hmm. yeah everything so was honor, if a bro. commander knew that he was about to be overthrown and everything Sef uncle yeah yeah because they, they all ca- they all yes. carried the little so- yeah but there's a certain way for this oh no that's not just that it goes there's a lot that goes into this oh okay not only do they like they slice, they gotta go up all this has to go you have to do this without passing out <laughs> So oh, not only are man. you fucking slicing your shit this nah. way, you gotta go upward. Nah. And you lean forward, and then the motherfucker cuts your head off. And all this, you gotta do all this while you're awake. You can't be, you can't pass out midway because it's considered a dishonorable. Right. 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 I'm crazy. like, that sounds painful. I'm like, Ooh, what the fuck crazy. you think, Jeff? Yeah, you you can't. cutting over your whole <laughs> shit. What the fuck you mean? Your organs are like, ah. Oh, that's crazy. That's, that's crazy. That's nuts. That's nuts. But uh. It was uh, it was in um, Hacksaw Ridge. Have you have you seen yes, that? Yes, I got the movie. Have, have you seen that? I haven't. When you are right, you that's with your Andrew movie. with Andrew Garfield. Oh, uh, the, the, the pacifist. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that, that's yeah. based off a true story as well. Yeah, 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 wow. yeah. Um, that that one scene when he was cutting the shit. That's right. when and you saw how he was awake. Mm-hmm. He died one. Now be passed out during that. Done. He, dishonor. Dishonor. Damn. Damn. Oh, that's crazy. That is oh, crazy. No. That's different. That is that's different. a different. That's that's an enemy you don't want to. Yeah. Like, and yeah, you recognize uh, in that movie when they they were famous for fake surrendering, which is why I have the mentality of shoot first, ask, ask questions, questions later, later. Yeah, fuck the enemy. Uh, All right, and if because oh, it's cause wait, like, but there was no honor, but the, there was no. There was it's only honor. honor within themselves and their their culture and their right, people. Right, Americans right, aren't. Right. Americans don't give a fuck they, about they, that yeah, shit. Yeah, they we, don't. Why are we? Why? But but I I, I I mean we do now. But, you, know, <laughs> yeah. you know, it twenty twelve yeah, after we. After we committed all but the I, crimes I get what against you mean. humanity, uh, how do you mean <laughs> crime against humanity? What you all mean? the, now, the but, biggest it, crime do, on do, nuke, do. and we planned seven days of that. Shit, That's bro. very fucking that tough. Crazy. See, if they would have uh, look, if they would Open, Oppenheimer, dog. Yep. Do, do you understand? After the second one, we was like, shit. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Even yeah. Japan was like, they felt nah, bad. Nah, we ain't finna go. We ain't finna go. <laughs> Japan out like was that. like, you know what? We're fucking up. Let's yeah. shut the fuck you up indefinitely. They said they were gonna fight to the last person, and they was prepared. They was for prepared that shit to too. fight Damn. to the they, last they, person. They, they, they was dead ass. Um, the civilians in there. They was training civilians, men, women, mm-hmm. children, everything, children, yeah. digging trenches and everything, yeah. preparing for the Americans to invade. Mm-hmm. Now we have already like we did the uh, estimates and everything. Mm-hmm. Out of every battle that we fought against the uh, Japanese and everything, nothing was going to compare to that shit. Like, if you added all that up, it would not it compare would to what the fuck we was going to yeah, go against that's on fucking, that. That's so, they, you know, America's like, you know, we go, you know, we suffer that's high casualties or, you know, fuck these niggas. That's crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They was going to do seven days of this, bro. They was going to wipe out. But then they, they realized. They wipe out the yeah. whole. But, but then they realized how bad it was. And after they, that they, second even, after fe- that they second even felt yeah, bad. They're like, they're like no, we can't do that, man. They're they're not us, but they're still human. No, the fuck, no, not not during this time period. No, fuck that every single crazy. one of y'all. See, this is my yeah. mindset. But this is the thing, though. They would stop because they realize shit. They are still people. And my mindset is these are not people. Dead. Dead. Look, they look. said no mercy. There's no oh, mercy, man. Here. Okay, so you, they, was they showing me mercy and my people's no, mercy when right. they was brutally right. gunning us? Right. You don't understand the atrocities yeah, and shit like, that they like, was doing. It's with. like the Iraq war where they trained the children. Right, because it wasn't to... just Pearl Harbor. Because remember, they were uh, Korea. Remember, yeah. they, they invaded Korea, mm-hmm. uh, enslaved a lot of their people. Uh, they invaded Japan, committed genocides mm-hmm. over there. I mean, what was it, China. Uh, do you know they what they did China? in their uh, POW camps and everything? It, read up on that shit, bro. Word. They, they, that it was shit worse than fun. the Nazi ones? It, it really depends on oh, which okay. one you hear about. Okay. So with the Japanese, what they would do, they would put you in it. I'm assuming, it, I'm assuming it's an Asian thing. Mm-hmm. I don't want to like fully say that it is. But I'm assuming because in Vietnam they did the same thing. Where they would put uh, American POWs and these small ass crates and everything where you're like this pretty much 24 mm. 7 for yeah. days on yeah. end. Yeah. Keep you in your cell where you got no, you got to shit and piss on yourself pretty much. Wow. You're, you're, you're not, not treated up. humanely at, at all. There were some accounts where wow. um, there has been American POWs that have stated that the Japanese will put your face in the mud and make you drown in mm-hmm. the mud and everything. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, they'll just beat your ass, 
to death and everything. So, for instance, um, George Bush survived mm-hmm. this one. Um, he didn't learn about this until after his presidency. Or w, w Daddy Bush. W Daddy or W. Daddy. Okay. Daddy. Daddy. Bush. Uh, he didn't learn about this until after his pre- presidency mm-hmm. or right toward the end. But when they was doing this uh, this air raid against uh, Japan, it was these small islands. They had uh, these um, uh, these towers and everything. They were trying to wipe out and everything. Mm-hmm. I don't don't quote me on it. I don't think that they was able to uh, do that and everything. But Word. they was bombing the Japanese islands right there for a while. Okay. And you know Bush had his crew, and I think the whole crew died, and he was the only one that lived out of this, right? Now, the other planes that got shot down, the Japanese captured. Mm-hmm. And what happened to them, you see, a lot of people don't want to talk about it, is cannibalism. Ooh, so, yeah. what, so what they did, oh, the yeah. Japanese, yeah. they, one by one, there was like eight or ten American POWs and everything. And they they found the remains of all this. Just bones them. scattered everywhere. Now, they, uh, they would bayonet the men while they was alive and everything, just one by one until he was practically dead. Or there's one uh, story where this is all in the same area, mind you, because the uh, there was Japanese. Matt Munson said, "Look at these dudes. What's up, Matt? Shut your bald ass yeah. up." <laughs> yeah, he, he remembered. Yeah, you can oh, see it on the screen. Too, oh, like, the venom. Yeah. <laughs> Matt Muslim said, look at these dudes. Because remember, we were eating chicken with that man at work. No, he, he cool people, though, bro. I miss bro. What it is, bro. Um, there was one account where the uh, Japanese officer uh-huh. told his uh, his soldiers, pick one of them, bring me his liver. I want to eat it. That's While crazy. this motherfucker was alive, they took that shit out. I'm like, nigga, what? Well, he died nah, now. Nah, there ain't nah, no liver. Yeah, I'm I like, couldn't. that's different. That's different. What? I, 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 I understand your mindset now because the way they like were, he's including they were, the, yeah, right. the, the the brutality of it because they they're not gonna always put the details of what happened in, um behind enemy lines. They're only gonna tell you the the the. Okay, so like now think about it though. Now what if there's a bigger, badder country than the. <laughs> There never will be, so. <laughs> we are the bigger, better country. Fuck around no one will out. surpass us. <laughs> New one. <laughs> but okay. to go back to your original, right. the peak age, because we were talking about CRISPR, and then you guys spiraled into World War II. <laughs> Look, don't judge me. You're, all right, I told you that history is my topic. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, shit. But I kept it in my mind to remember because we kind of just wait, wait, what the fuck were we talking about? So we were talking about the peak because <laughs> they they they're using CRISPR to make people younger and you you, you were asking for the peak age. And then he went to 65 like people back in World War 2 and then we just dove into it. Hey, look, don't don't, don't <laughs> no, do that. That was an interesting time. Yeah, no, no, it was. It was. It was. Okay. I'm just trying to keep you guys on track cuz we can't we can't there, we can't be, There's high. no track here. You already know how this is every time I'm here. Yeah. There's no track. But um, yeah, but yeah. So peak age, like, what would prime peak age be? Like, I would, I would say to be like, immortal, like to stop aging. I would say thirty-five. Mm, depending, I would say more like anywhere from twenty-five to twenty-eight. 25 because to when you're when you're in your thirties, not for nothing, but most people they be looking like shit. All right, Let, let's keep it real here. When you're in your twenties, there's something you about what? people in their twenties. You know, I'm not even trying to be mean here, but when you're in your 20s, it's like, I'm indestructible type shit, you know? Like, no, I, I, I done been that. through the trenches, motherfucker. Like, that. what the fuck? Yeah. Like, when you're in your 30s, you get injured. Oh, well, you know, got a broken wrist for a little Word. bit. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say all that. Word. <laughs> like, Word. I wouldn't say all that. Wait, look, hey, Jeff. What? <laughs> I don't. Do, do, do you want me to uh, tell the people? The time you hurt your yourself at work? Oh, yeah. Wait, what but, happened? That was tell, thirty-one, though. Tell, tell us, <laughs> Thirties. Tell us about I, I, his I geriatric up, moment. No, no, I picked up the 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 box of uh, the to- the red tote wine 
wrong and I pulled my back. <laughs> That's crazy. And I kept working the rest of the night too. I, you <laughs> worked through it. I, oh. I just want to point out that that same day we had chicken as well. So <laughs> I, I yeah. think Matt was there as well. Yeah, Matt was there. Matt was there. Um, but that's the thing, though. I'm not one to be like, oh, my back hurts. Let me go home. Bro, I just kept working. Th this nigga really told me, yo, Vic, can you go fill the water right quick or at least or check it? It was one of those. And as soon as I walked through the doors, oh, here was fuck. <laughs> I come back. I'm like, what's wrong? He's like, and he's just. Mm. Mm, I pull my back. I I'm, like, oh, I'm like, dude, sit the fuck Damn. down. And he's like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm good. I'm like, sit the fuck oh, down. Be bro. Fucking through shit. Oh my goodness, mm -hmm. you gonna age faster because of that, bro. I mean, he already did. That's why he ain't got no hair. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, what the fuck, dog? When I tell you, I woke up every day of my life scared. I was gonna be like, because for him, he. When did you start losing hair? Uh, 25. 25. Yeah. But when did it start thinning? 25. Really? Yeah, because I, I have sworn you were in high school when No, that because that's fucked up. Now we're gonna give him the common courtesy. That's fucked up. This nigga. I know, right? He the just wanted to say that. The audacity. Really? <laughs> I was literally I was literally taking pictures in the bathroom at 781 at 25, Jack. Oh, damn. I don't remember because you was always whoa, 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 getting a, a low fade. Whoa, I never whoa, whoa. I, what, what you mean by taking pictures, sir? You might you, can, can you Oh, he was on his light skin phase, bro. Yeah. He's always on his light skin phase. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Nah, but he was heavy. He was heavy in that light what skin. What the fuck? Shit, I, I can't even talk. He no was shit, heavy in that light skin. I, uh, I, I've, been, I've been taking some light skin photos. He was doing well, the bro. eyebrow, all that shit. Wait, hold, up, hold, up, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me see if I can find a picture. Hold up. I, you know, I, I'm on my light skin shit as well, bro. <laughs> He got the sun beam. He got no. He got the palm tree perfect. Exactly, bro. That shit, bro. The fucking light rays. What? Yo, hey, don't don't be hating, bro. What the fuck? Oh man, my light skin face. Nah, bro, was tripping. He was feeling himself, bro. You want to what's wild? Is it this? I know the globe is real. This nigga got the old school green fucking shirt on his shit. What the fuck? Oh, bro, the cloth, the wool. The wool, the wool uniform. No, the, 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 the fucking green. The, yeah. The, no matter how many times he washed it, the, the fucking stain was gonna be there. Shit. But <laughs> you washed it. Ooh, man, this man. Hey yo, what the fuck? Oh, God, no, bro. That's facts. <laughs> that's facts. But yeah, yeah. But no, I had hair at twenty five, Jeff. There was no. You thing. always had a fade, Jeff. So I never. But that's that's me with hair. I feel it. You know what I'm saying? So. So we just. Fell off all at once at yeah. 25? No, I don't know. Not all at once. That That's fucked up. No, nah, yeah. it was a slow build. It was a slow build. <laughs> you woke build up my like sight on my bro. Build. What the fuck? But uh, let's dive into it because I know that you were talking to us maybe a month ahead of time because we were planning this the week before Christmas. It's the 21st, by the way, guys. Um, and we, you were basically t telling us that your audience had a lot of questions, not just for you, mm -hmm. but for us too, which I didn't know we had what we do but i didn't know that they contacted you yep to yeah. ask us the questions no i'm not gonna say no names on here no you're for, good for, for you reasons could. yeah yeah protection and all that stuff like that that's fine that's fine but you can go through your questions and 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 you can respond to them or then if it's for us then we can answer it to the best of our ability but i'll let you shoot so the first one says i, I wrote them all down by the way so leave me the fuck alone for everybody that's about to say that fuck shit you can eat my ass. Um, pause. No pause. <laughs> we talking cheek or booty hole? <laughs> hey! Straight in the hole. Oh, God. I'm about to mute both of y'all, my dude. Them niggas a munch. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, hey. shit. Go for it. Go All right. Ahead. So, the first one says, um, I got this one on the... September 27th gotcha. around there mm -hmm. uh, it says how did your time in the street help you become the person that you are today okay okay so to answer this the best way that I know possible is um you, you would have to understand exactly what I was going through during that time period to understand you know exactly how I am now so back then I was extremely extremely hot-headed I covered it a little bit when I was on here with the uh, streets mm -hmm. calling episode, mm -hmm. but I was very, very, like, irritable and everything. Mm -hmm. um, at the time, I didn't give a damn whether or not I lived or died mm -hmm. and everything. 
um, during that time period, it was, it was, I can't explain my actions during that time period mm-hmm. and everything. You know, it was, I was living it in the moment type thing, that. you know, and. You felt invincible? Not even just that, bro. But Do you feel disconnected from who you were when you were doing that? Sometimes, okay. you know, we're we going to cover that as well. Um, the way that I see it, you know, is once I changed and everything, like and like I said before on previous episodes, it took me two years mm-hmm. to do that shit. And like I said also, you know, I had to distance myself from that area from just doing all that shit which again you know even though me and her are not together trapped from this bitch um <laughs> you what <laughs> it is what it is i will say that you know my traveling as ex was the one that convinced me to leave mm-hmm. you know i'll always thank her for that yeah yeah because you're alive today because of that but you're I, not i wouldn't say alive <laughs> sir. That, that's giving way too much credit <laughs> well i'm like, saying i'm saying oh, you're alive man. because of it but you're not holding it to a a, a stand uh, not a standard but a, a weight where it's like you owe her yeah because yeah i, I understand what you so mean. you know i i do thank her for that and you know it is what it is with that but i had to distance myself you know and during that time period, I had a lot to to think about, you know. So it wasn't like an overnight thing, like I said, you know. It was a, you know, Jeff, you know, we, we're sitting here talking mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm. And then let's say here in 30 minutes, you say something slick. I'm not going to lie to you. Back then, I just hit you right in your fucking mouth and then just leave. That's how I was. Like, it was, that, it, there was no talking. It was that quick. Yeah. It, it was quick. If you said something, it was, it was bad, bro. And I don't... It, there were certain things that I really started to remember when I was in middle school, and I was like, bro, he didn't even, like, he didn't even say nothing bad. It was just the way that I took it. Like, if I would have just sat there and listened or, like, thought mm-hmm. about it just for 30 seconds, mm-hmm. I would have been fine. It would have saved me all the bullshit, but no, I decided to have to break his shit three times over. Like, what the fuck? But, um... That's crazy. Yeah, man, um, after I left the street, you know, I just really wanted peace mm-hmm. and everything. I just wanted to be alone for the most part i didn't want to be around people mm-hmm. like that because um i didn't seen what people can do to people already mm-hmm. and i was i was still in my teen years when i fucking did all this bro i didn't seen what grown-ass people can do to kids not like that hard pause yeah um i, I didn't want to be around nobody because at that time i didn't trust nobody and I had, when I say distance myself, I distanced myself from Red, Twinkie, and everybody. Mm-hmm. Even though they left and everything with me and everything, I wanted to distance myself from everybody just in case and everything, you know? Yeah. Love them, but it was something for me. And, you know, I told them this and everything. And they said, all right, cool, you know? Um, started working, getting actual, like, legal money. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, I was strapping big and... He said Uncle Sam came knocking. Tried. Ooh, tried. Let me, let me stop. People are going to think I'm not joking and shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, um, but no, man, I, I got a job. It was, uh, I started doing uh, detailing cars and shit. Mm-hmm. That was like my first job, not doing stupid shit. And then after that, um, I went into uh, landscaping. So we would, uh, clear out like forests and lands and shit with these palm trees yeah. and then we would have to go in with uh shovels and dig out the roots and everything and that shit alone was a pain to fuck oh, ass bet. what but, what because um, they didn't give us the proper equipment they told us to go ahead and shovel the shit out right because like, you need like one of the mulchers like because yeah that when, can cut through yeah, it yeah like it, it, no, we, we, we had to see. sit here with shovels and break through oh, the fucking crazy. Bus and yeah. dig it out oh, that's so crazy. you know after that i did that and then um worked at a theater after the theater, then I was working under the table doing some roofing. I fucking despise roofing. Props to, you know, everybody that does roofing because uh, I'm not about that life. All right, that shit is ass. <laughs> was it the sun the or the height? sun's cooking your ass or what? Well, I did it during the summer, bro. That shit Oh, ass. shit, yeah, yeah. And, mo- you see, people don't understand what, bro, when I it comes to houses, like... Most of the houses, especially out here, were built, like, back then right. and shit. Mm-hmm. And they're not up to date. 
because they do, they don't want to do like a whole nother roofing thing. Mm-hmm. So you. what they'll do is they'll put shingles on top of shingles on top of shingles on top of shingles. <laughs> and I'm cake like, that damn. And I'm like, bro, I should beat your ass for making me do <laughs> oh, that. So no. these, these shingles are already fucking oh, heavy as it is. Boy, but I'm now, dead. see, so they've been here for over 50 motherfucking years. Now this shit's <gasps> fucking cardboard and shit. Now it's just breaking apart into big pieces. Got a Big Mac of shingles, bro. That's Literally, crazy. bro. Like, what the fuck? And now you got to worry about these big ass nails and shit then once you get it out then the wood on the shit is rotting on right. top of it now you gotta let Damn. them know and that apparently is our fault for breaking the shit i'm like bro this shit what, what nigga get, what yeah aren't you getting your roof are they getting a whole roof replacement or just re-shingle it really depended on uh what they what wanted they wanted um, they just most of them wanted a re-shingle thing they didn't right. want the whole roof done just a re-shingle i can tell you it was 10 g's i, can I tell feel you. that Damn. um i feel that because that's that it was a pain in the ass. It's brutal, I, I, right? I, it's brutal. Sunburn. I would come home with blisters on my neck and shoulders and everything. Mm-hmm. Oh, me being on the roof installing that dish for what? Ten minutes. Mm-hmm. Seared your right ass. Seared my right <laughs> ass. My boy. <laughs> sensational. Boy, the the fuck fuck you could, mean sensational? Because he seared his ass. Where I, is you know? I'm not going there with you, Jeff. <laughs> bro, not doing it. Bro, but, um, he's like, hey yo, what the fuck? Um, Yep. <laughs> but yeah, man, after the uh, the roofing thing, that's when, you know, I applied at uh, Publix. So you were legitimately trying to look for, like, now he was trying to come up, bro. good money jobs you know, that... I wasn't trying to go back. I, I wasn't trying to do nothing stupid anymore. I feel it, man. I feel it. Because you just lose time. But, yeah. Yeah, you and lose then you, time. The rest is history. You know you was working with me and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then that goes into the other, uh, the other question. Where did you meet Jeff? Yeah, they asked that. They asked that question. I was like, "Which Jeff?" He's like, "I don't know. It doesn't matter." I always meet people by proxy, so I met Vic through Jeff. Yeah. So, but I know Jeff hey. and Vic got like they go way back. Boy. Yeah, we <laughs> January twenty twenty. <laughs> And I, literally, bro, it's, I remember, like, if people don't... Oh, mm, pandemic days yeah. type shit. Okay. Yeah, man. I'm he got in before the pandemic actually started. Well, yeah. So, uh, I remember, if people the people will be thinking I'm joking every time. I'd be saying, I'm like, bro, Jeff was the only one that trained my ass, man. He was the only one that gave a fuck about me, bro. Damn. I was being dead ass. Yeah, I was trying to give him full time because everybody saw him as a degenerate. So, they're like, oh, let him be <laughs> late. Let <laughs> him quit. Let him do <laughs> all this they, shit. They, they saw me as a... Degenerate. <laughs> Black people trash. I'm dead. <laughs> I, I can't see it. Like there was I can't no, say the word, but you already know. <laughs> and I'm gonna be honest too. And it's it's like when you're in a position where you're successful and you're good, your money, you got family, house, all that stuff like that. You 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 look down on people, right? And that was the that was the manager. So but, it's easy to overlook some. Exactly. So they like that, right? they. There was a lot of racial based, things in that. Based off of too. how he talked, where mm-hmm. he came from, his work ethic. Everyone's just trying to look at his downfall, and I was looking at, well, this man has an opportunity to get out the shit that he is in, and I'm gonna give him every opportunity that he has. Mm-hmm. If at the end of the day he fails, then that's on him. But at least I gave him the tools yep. in order to be successful. Right. It's just like Larry. I told you he has an eight month old child. He left uh, um, Fort Myers, the the ghetto, because he wanted better for his eight month old daughter. Yep. So now he lives in the, the, San- the Sanibel area, which is the rich area. That's respect, right and there. And then he's 19 years old. Same time you started, and in, and in, uh, our our store manager said, I, "I was 18, sir." Oh yeah, see, that's even younger. Mm-hmm. And then the store manager said, "I was the same in the same position you are." My dad called me a can stacker, and now I'm making more than him. A can stacker. Yep. Every he's like every holiday he'd go home, his parents would call him a can stacker. Yep. And now he's making six figures. Bro, do you understand how long I heard from both my parents for a very long time that I wasn't oh, gonna be shit? That's yeah. crazy. Though. I'm talking, I heard that shit damn near all my fucking life, that's bro. That's what I'm saying. Crazy. So it's like I'm a I'ma give everybody the tools possible. Like this new kid that come in, I'm training this new kid. Like he he, he speaks in ebonics like Vic, all that stuff like that, but I'm gonna give him the opportunity because he wants to do better. If you wanna do better, then I'm gonna give you a chance. I don't care where you come from, who you are, how you speak, um, what you've been through. Everybody deserves an equal opportunity and I'll give that and I'll give that to you. After it. that you have to take the key and yep. I feel you gotta drive. Right. Yeah, you gotta drive the car, yeah. Look, so for instance, I I don't I think it was like my third week there or some shit i remember because we was leveling uh aisle two yeah and three mm-hmm. and it w- i was working with mike we was closing that day mm-hmm. and uh we was talking and jeff i just remember he just randomly came up so uh so Vic, where you from what what, what you like doing I like to all know this? story so 
you know, I started. What's the goal? At first, I just looked at. I'm not gonna lie to. You, I'm like, I don't know you, nigga. Hold up now. Who the who the fuck is <laughs> you? Rogers, this this is man. my mindset at the time. Like, I'm here, neighbor. You know, literally, like my. <laughs> My mindset at the time was, who the oh, fuck are shit. you, nigga? I don't oh, know fuck. you. Why the fuck are you trying to get to know my son? Are you a fed? Who's a snoot dog? S- snot dog said, how old are y'all? How old are you, nigga? I'm 42. <laughs> Bitch, stop <laughs> lying. <laughs> nigga, you ain't 42. He wants to be 42 so bad. No, no the fuck What's I up, snot dog? Hey, snot dog. I'm 33 years old. Yeah. I am 28. 22. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, yes, welcome. But shameless plug. Uh, subscribe to Smooth Reaper Gaming. Shameless. I mean, we could have done that at the end. No, 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 no. Hold up. This is literally your <laughs> episode. That's why he said. That's why he said shameless plug. I mean, you're in the front yeah. too, and we're gonna like, put your yeah. dis- subscri- your description I, I, in the back. I, I, I get that. Or well, your treason will be remembered. Oh my god. He's talking. Uh, he's talking Star Wars now. Or oh, your treason. Where is that from? Is that a specific line? It's from no, Star no, it's not. It's it's treason. Then that's the that's, that's the, the right. Okay. That's all, right, the, all right, ADHD people. Let's get back on topic. Go fuck. ahead. Fuck. <laughs> we're le- we're no. leveling aisle two. Yeah. So he he asked me like you know like where where are you from? Um, all this extra. And I just remember I looked at him. Cause it, Jeff is short. All right. Like I'm over here. I'm taller. It's it's like this, all right. So I, I, I'm over here. I'm leveling something on the top, and I'm just looking down at him. Like I'm like, hey, I'm their neighbor. <laughs> Who the fuck? <laughs> you don't get your roach looking ass on somewhere. What the hell? Saw a raids on the aisle five. Yeah, that's real shit. Like what the fuck? Dead as hell. You shit, what? Man. But um, yeah, he asked me that, and then we, you know, we started talking and everything, and Mike. Uh, he got called away. I don't remember for what, mm-hmm. but he got called away, and then that's when me and Jeff really started talking, start um, really talking about uh, and then it, it went to Marvel. That's how it really started, and then the Spider Man topic, which I'm a stick. Three is trash. Two, three, three. Which one? three of what? Three, three of uh, yeah, Toby Maguire. Oh yeah, you the one that liked that fucking trash, trash, bro. <laughs> Oh my goodness! You're See right. what we not gonna do right. here is gang up on the other roach in the room. All right, I thought roaches stick together. What the fuck shit is this? No, I'm sorry. Not when it comes to Spider Man Three, yeah. bro. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah bro. Look. One thing I do agree absolutely. with you with is they did put too many villains in there, which is why it oversaturated the film. Mm-hmm. But other than that, Three is trash. But if, if we take out that suck ass dance move, but uh. Oh, well that that shit was ass. Like what? <laughs> like what the fuck? Yeah, but go ahead. But uh, we we started talking about that. And we started talking about Marvel, and then he started telling me like what he's into and everything. Mm-hmm. Then Star Wars came in about, and then we started talking about all types of Star Wars and everything like that. And I'm like, have you seen Clone Wars though? He's like, fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what's your favorite episode? And he's like. I don't know. They're all good, sir. I don't. I don't. I don't know how you want me to answer this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> how many seasons? What nine? No, no, seven. 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 Okay. Um, but this is before seven came out. It was just six. That's how long ago uh, it was, bro. So, damn. um, after that, we became really cool. You know, I would come in and I would uh, start working and shit. He would tell me what to do and everything. What we was gonna do, and I would say like after like six eight months of mm-hmm. me being there i'm like jeff i want to learn how to start using the computer brought it up the first time because then he said he was going to bring it by uh antonio mm-hmm. and antonio was trying to show me the ropes but the way that he was doing it i'm not gonna lie to you bro if bro has said this shit to me when i was 16 i'd have fought him <laughs> he the antonio didn't care same. was he just really abrasive yeah, with you he was like, on he was some just, bullshit. Okay. yeah abrasive short oh, short short um uh, tempered sentences wouldn't really show him anything so after he would have a conversation with vic vic would come to me and i show him the proper way because the way i am i teach by making you do it i just explain it to you i don't right. do it for you and then say all right figure it did out did you did you catch that did you watch it what the fuck yeah well go ahead uh-huh. but um you know, after that, that, he pretty much showed me the ropes and everything, and um, Antonio got switched out. And then Johnson comes, his greasy pot belly you pig. What? Oh, you bald headed bitch! I fucking hate that nigga, bro. On oh, everything, that nigga could fucking get in a car accident, set on fire, and everything. I fucking laugh. That nigga was fucking bitch made, bro. Nah, fuck that nigga. I hope he sees this shit too. For real. Oh my god, dude. 
crowd. I just also got you feeling this way, bro. <laughs> Look, okay, I can understand, you know, we black on black crime happens every fucking day, but God fucking damn, nigga, <laughs> shit, I'm over here, everything that this dude fucking told me to do, I did it, I was doing it perfect, I was doing it on time, every fucking thing, it was never enough, mm -hmm. he would always try to fucking downplay me, bro, um. and I had to pull him to something, I don't know who the fuck you think you is, bro, but that shit ain't gonna work over here, bro, I don't give a fuck who he is at all. You could be manager, you could be Jesus himself, and you try to downplay me, it's not gonna fucking work. You gotta understand, too, he was very bougie, because he, he's like, I make money, right. I, I, I that, drink that wine, dude, I wear nice suits, he was right. one of those. I feel that. He, he pissed me the fuck off, bro, and then he, he had He was a dark-skinned nigga acting like a light-skinned nigga, basically. That nigga was acting like a white man. Don't, don't, you give him way too much credit. That nigga, black card revoked. Send him to, can I say send him to the fields? <laughs> <laughs> send them back to the KFC. How about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send them back to KFC. Like, oh, man. bro, like that. No, honestly, bro. Like he, he hard keep pissing me off because then he started. He went around and told like, yeah, he's not teachable. That type of fuck shit. Yeah, he he said that he's not teachable, and I'm like, so no one just wanted the responsibility. Of so this is but, what this is what happened though. Um, sorry <laughs> to cut you off, but this is what happened though. After he said he's not teachable, I went behind his back and started teaching him everything. Yep. So when every time he I, Vic went to go do counts or Vic went to go close a bill or because I gave him numbers so he can do all that yep. stuff, he kept saying, "Oh, he knows how to do that." Oh, he knows. Yes, John, he knows how to do that. Yeah, he, I keep. I told Jeff, I'm like, bro, I want to learn how to do the computer shit. I yeah. want to learn how to do this. He gave me some numbers, just show me what to do. Yeah. And then Jeff would be right there. He's like, "Yo, I need you to scan this, scan that, scan that, scan that, and let me know what the numbers are at the end of the day." I'm like, "All right, cool." Did that. When I found Jeff, which either he was in the back room or he was up in the office, and then he's like, all right, cool. Um, boom, 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 boom. And he'll show me in the computer and everything. He's like, put your numbers in, which I'm not going to lie to you. I forgot the numbers. Uh, <coughs> but I still have the name tag and everything that I put the numbers yeah. on. And I would do that. And that, that was that. And then... Doug. So y'all gone through hella managers, boy. Damn. What, uh... No, Doug was the... <laughs> Doug was the fuck nigga. <coughs> Jesus Christ. He got me choking on my water. <laughs> what made what made Doug a fuck nigga? Do you know how much shit this motherfucker caused and shit? This dude was he a caught. kiss ass. This dude caused so much troubles between just me and Mike alone. Remember Mike and him were supposed to come to to do the podcast and he bailed for a woman. Oh uh, quote quote woman. Can oh. I expose him, please? Like, like oh. fully, or can nah, I not? A, nah. No, okay, damn. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. You're lucky, boy, because I was gonna put you up on blast. I'm not gonna lie. Core, core, core. Like, I, I, I despise that dude with a passion. But um, Ooh. another another one that started showing me toward the uh, like midway and everything was uh John White. And yes, this is after what I told you. Mm. Um, then he, I don't, after that situation, like he just he became cool and everything. You know what I'm saying? And we, we he started telling me his uh, his time and service and everything. And yeah, he was in the army, uh, army or marines, one of those. Marines, but he yeah. he was telling me something about like he was like a radio man or something like yeah. that. He was repairing oh, wow. everything. Okay. Yeah, he's my mentor. He's the reason why and, uh, I am where I am. He's the reason why we are where we are today. Where we are today. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, we he also started showing me the ropes. And once I started getting the ropes. That's where everything hit the fan. Because that's when the whole <coughs> Doug situation, because that shit was brewing for a while. I didn't say nothing. Let it, let it be. But then, it's it's around the time where, um, it was, uh, Twinkie and Gator Pass. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. That, that was, I was cool. Cancer was, and COVID? It, it was, no, no. Twinkie died because he got shot to death, and Gator died because he had a massive heart attack. Massive heart attack, kind of. But Damn. I, three weeks from the show there. Three weeks. And I was, I'm not going to lie, I was doing my best to mask it so <laughs> well, man. It, Jeff knew there was something wrong. He's like, bro, you're, you're awfully quiet today. Like, are you good? I'm like, I'm existing right now. Um, 
went in that, that bullshit in the back room. And that's what set it off. I'm like, bro, I will beat your ass back here, bro. Don't don't try me like this, bro. I took off my shirt and everything, bro. It was the um I forgot her name, but it was her first day. The, the customer service she manager. Was brand new customer service. She manager. just got there, bro. It was her first day there. That's the first thing she saw, bro. I will beat your ass and lock you in the fucking freezer, nigga. <laughs> That's <laughs> all she heard, and she freaked out. Dog, did she, what? Did she quit? <laughs> did she leave? Nah, no. Nah. Oh, okay. I, what? That's a crazy hey, first day. That motherfucker got scared and went right in the freezer. I'm like, you stupid That's bitch. Crazy. All I had to do is whoop your ass, close the door, put pallets up against the fucking thing, and leave and act like nothing God, happened. Like, what yeah. the fuck? We're, we're talking about Doug, by the way, not the woman. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, clarification. Yeah, yeah, Doug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doug. Um, but yeah, and then after that, you know. Vic, we got to suspend you for two weeks, you know. And da, 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 da. She was a witness to it, so it's I like, feel that, yeah. right, right. So, um, I get suspended for two weeks. I come back, and like literally three weeks after that, Vic, you're being transferred to which one? The one on the beach. Beach, yeah, they had Oh, word? Thing. Oh, word. You're just trying to fuck me. That's what you're trying to do. Uh, so, I get transferred to the one on the beach, and by this time, like, my mood for Publix was already like, I don't give a fuck. When right. I got to that beach store, I really did not give a fuck. It was fuck. like a zombie. Nobody ass, gave really. him, a, everybody that should have given him an opportunity to actually want to move up right. shat on him or didn't even give him the chance right. literally so I, I, I get to the uh, the Publix on the, on the beach and everything and you know Greg right yep he's still there he's still at that one yeah he's still at that one see that's that's another one where I low key got a little bit of a grudge against him as well I'm mm -hmm. not gonna lie cause he, he was like yeah man we could show you and then nothing happened that's Jimmy all. what's up bro so, uh, hey Jimmy what's up how you doing man oh but that's the thing. There's there's always opportunities, but it never happens. Yep, and uh, we had that young dude, Steven, That was the manager. That dude was cocky, and his problem was that he never ran into somebody that was from the hood <laughs> that will brutally beat your ass, bro. So he'll say some shit, be smart ass with it. And I remember I just looked at him, and because Greg knew me already, he's like, <laughs> he's like, they come this way, please, <laughs> please come this way. I'm like. Why he got to come on his face like that, though, bro? Like, Damn. what the fuck? And then, uh, you know Jason, team leader? No. No, never met him. You possibly will. It's a short dude with suburban cul-de-sac and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, look. He got the suburban cul-de-sac edge. <laughs> yeah, he do. <laughs> I didn't know that was the thing. I ain't never heard that in my life, I boy. <laughs> he, <In> Texas? <laughs> he got the suburban cul-de-sac. <laughs> that's crazy. But, uh, that, you know, that's another one. He's, Jason started showing me. Jimmy some, says, uh, miss y'all, man. We miss you too, Jimmy. Yeah, you need to stop by with your with your cousin, cause I know that we uh, you guys signed the NDA, so it's just if you want to pull up, we can plan something for next year. Wait, who's Jimmy? Is that the one with, that was talking about uh, DJ J or something? What's no, no, he's a he's a uh, he's, uh, um, he's the one with uh, Fitrition. He's the one that does daily Fitrition. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that that was that, and then I was there another year because mm -hmm. I, I quit before the hurricane or after the hurricane uh, after the hurricane <laughs> because they didn't tell us what to do in case like the store got wiped out or anything like that yeah yeah so i'm like all right look nigga y'all can't get a hold of me i can't get a hold of y'all i can't even get on the beach right now Word, so right um i uh i had greg added as a friend on xbox and everything so i'm like yo is there any way i can put in my two weeks and he's like all right i'll see what i can do Jimmy says, yeah, I am DJJ, but yes, we'll pull up. Okay, uh, Yeah, awesome. let's set it up. All right, yeah, yeah, just hit me up, and then we can set up a, a date in January where we can do it. That'll be fire. Yeah. Heck yeah, we need you back home, bro. Need some of that that knowledge. <laughs> but, um, well, go ahead. <laughs> I, re I think I had to, my mom, because my sister was working at that Publix as well, and she was able to get a hold of uh, Miguel, which is the customer service manager, and that he knew where uh, Daryl was, which was the store manager. So they was able to get me my two weeks all this extra shit. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, whatever. So I stopped working for them officially on October 10th, 2021. 2021. Wait, okay. so it's been two no, years? No, not 2021. My fault. Okay. Um, 2022. 2022. So right after Ian. Yeah. Right after Ian. Bad. So, um, I feel that. 
Yeah, that, that was that. And then after that, I started doing construction and everything. And that's when I really saw that the news be fucking lying they ass off. Calling y'all out now. How so? How so? How so? They, they said that we didn't lose that many people. Well, I hate to tell you, but I was on the beach to see that fuck shit. They was had fucking people on the side of roads fucking tossed them to the side and shit. Oh, yeah. That was a lot. A lot. Because, yeah, yeah a lot people, of people stayed. <laughs> people, they didn't cover that. Now, they yeah. said, that, well, it was like 37 or some shit at first. I'm like, bro, that's such bullshit, bro. You had people that were in body bags and people that were yeah. just stacking them and shit. Yeah. I'm like. It was a lot of people. Like Heck two, yeah. three weeks after yeah. the hurricane hit, because we was working on a house and everything, there was this debris. This is when DeSantis came in town and everything. So, there was this debris that was a little farther down. There was a body under it. That's crazy. Wow, that's crazy. I think I know what you're talking about. Was it a big guy? No, it was a big. woman. It was a oh, woman. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And, uh... No, because I seen the, the video of the guy who was recording on Facebook Live mm -hmm. uh, as the water was coming in, and then they found him, like, later on under... Because they didn't know that the that surge was going to be that big and huge. Yeah. Hey, they... I think the most depressing part about all that is, yeah, I saw a bunch of, like children's shoes and shit i'm like damn the word there was a car that was Cause it's there. like what can the kids do if the parent don't want to yeah leave you know what i'm saying and, uh, the kid can't just be like oh i'm there there was a body in this car in this creek i, I remember that whole yeah, there was, it, you could see i'm like damn, damn this shit stank fuck yeah because some people try to stay in their car i don't that's want to even, that's even worse yeah, yeah. cars that would tumble over yeah. each other and everything that were crushed like they've been compacting right. because like, that water came in at like 23 feet you was just in one big old yeah man it, fucking, it was yeah it was bad i did uh construction for a little bit and then was, after that i i quit that because they was on some bullshit right. yeah we need you for this day but not this day this day and this day but you can come back this day mm -hmm. no no that's not how this shit works yeah because they're always cutting corners <laughs> yeah you yeah. said i was hired full time right. what the fuck shit is this right. so i quit there and then after that like i didn't have a job for a little bit i'm not gonna lie to you because at that point i was like man i need a break mm -hmm. right now and but I'm glad you didn't go back. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, you, you yeah. Just kept looking never go for back. The, you just kept looking for the next job. That's my rule. I never go back. Yeah, yeah. So after that, then, I can't. you know. Um, well, not go back to the job, but never go back to the streets. Yeah. Oh, word. That's what I'm telling you. Keep in mind, this is this is all. I left the streets uh, January 27th, 2017. That was my last day. And... 2017 is 2023 about to be 2024 have not been back, been back. Then, Seven uh, years, really. i started working uh through man can and everything which is a temp agency and everything but i'm working through them for the county that's what's up <laughs> so um we we've evolved from this to this yes, sir. all right yes, so sir. climbing the ladder exactly so you know it is what it is my boss Fucks with me heavy. He's just like, when the hell are you gonna fill out this application? Because I'm gonna hire you just like that. Full time. Um, he already told me he's like, you are the first one that we've had that has caught on within two weeks. Okay. Of working, because you gotta memorize all these numbers. It's not like a, like Publix where he was able to have to look for the names and everything. Yeah. No, they, I'll give you seven eight eight three zero, seven six three two seven. Wait, so what? What are they? What? What do? What do they do? So, and the, the warehouse that I work for is the uh, district warehouse for the schools and everything. So, we have everything from chemicals to uh, cutlery Ooh, to trays, okay, okay. all that shit up in there. Uh, clean supplies, all that. Uh -huh. um, that That's all this in this warehouse. So, I'm over here stacking the uh, pallets. So, pretty much for, um, like, for Publix and everything, the people that are stacked the those suck ass pallets and everything, where they put all the light stuff on the bottom and all yeah. the heavy stuff. <laughs> I always, I'm over here stacking yeah, everything man. because they put graham crackers on the bottom and gallons of bleach at the top. Literally, bro, <laughs> make that shit make sense. But um, I, I'm over here doing that because oh, my man. boss likes that and the way that I work, I'm always constantly moving and shit. Mm -hmm. He's, like, I'll hire you on the spot. Okay. When you put in the application, so yeah, that is um, my time in the street has helped me evolve into what I want to be. And where I don't want to be anymore, you know, mm -hmm. I, I seen there, I've seen some shit. All right. Don't mm -hmm. wish that on nobody. Amen. Amen. Um, but through that, I feel like if I would have grew up in 
suburban neighborhood and all this under two story house mm-hmm. suburban kids i would not be nowhere near <laughs> as funny nowhere near you'd be it, naive to I, I would be so naive right, and right. so like more cocky you'd have anything. a skewed perception of what the world really yeah, is yeah you know i, I wouldn't be able to have both sides the good and bad mm-hmm. to come not to combine and everything mm-hmm. so i would say through the streets i've gained so much knowledge because there's so many people along the way that I've met mm-hmm. and taken advice from. Mm-hmm. And to this day, I still listen to Jeff when it comes to his advice. I feel it. Amen. So, you know, like... It, it, I fuck with it, man. Come on, nah, man. Yeah. You, me, you, me, you working, bro. Me, me and Jeff have known each other, what, now it's like four years yeah. now? Yeah. So we're going and, on five. Every year so, you improve. Yeah, man. Exactly. Every so you improve. That's what's up. Yeah, and now he's 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 focused on himself there's mm-hmm. no females in the picture he's focused on making his money first and then i said everything else will come after yeah, man. and i said that's the way to go and that's what my brother and i are doing we're focused on this we're focused on what what we're investing <laughs> in all that stuff like that i remember when jeff was talking about starting a podcast come on son dog mm-hmm. yo that, that's the how og I'm boy he the og yeah. he, he was there when there was rumors floating yeah yeah yeah, yeah. He was yeah. There when there was everyone, rumors everyone floating, was asking bro. that Word. i'm like man we were we had the idea and we're like i started telling people i'm like yeah. and i said and i did it like this i'm like in the future if i come to you and i say i would like to have you um on camera letting me know your story and conversation would you be down for that because i had to ask them their permission first right. before i knew about the the nda disclosures right. the and the all that, all that stuff the um and then they're like yeah yeah that'd be cool so i literally got with everybody that i had conversations with or had a close connection with and i basically said when i invite you on come through yep. and then look we're we're a year That's and six facts. six months down the road yeah. and look where yeah. we're at doing this and gonna be doing even more in 2024 so yeah, it's like yeah, man. You love to see it, and, I, this, and like we said, taking everybody with us. And I see that y'all been uh, growing. That's what was it, y'all? One thirty now. One thirty one. Yeah. Well, there you go, yeah. man. I remember. One thirty one. I remember when we broke a hundred. Boy, that shit was yeah. crazy. That was YouTube's crazy. like, yeah, yeah. yeah. YouTube's like, <laughs> give us a little cupcake. It wasn't yeah. no big birthday cake. It was a little cupcake. Congratulations. A year ago, mm-hmm. over a year ago now. What were y'all at? Y'all was like at what, like Six, 60? 60. We couldn't break the 50 mark. Yeah, like so that's, that's when I yeah, saw that. Like, yeah, I yeah. was around there, so I'm we like, break 50, 50, so. But we were in the process of getting um, uh, marketers. Mm-hmm. We're in the My brother and I are in the process of uh, talking to two. Because you know women are good at marketing, especially the young ones. And they're, they, they, uh, I've had two that say, oh, we look at your, your marketing and your post. And it's like. It's trash. It's trash. It's shit. In, in English, they're you like. You couldn't sell me a hey, piece. Yo, what they're the like, fuck? <laughs> That's basically what they're what saying, the and they're hell? like, "Okay, we know how to connect with the people without having you pay for this and that, and then we know how to get you. We can edit the clips to do it, make it look like this." And I'm like, "And then this is when I came into the picture. Holy shit! Oh, Vic, with the ed- what? I remember the first yeah. time Jeff showed me one of the edits. Yeah. I was like, "Yep." Was it the uh, so the British Empire? The one British one? Empire. I was yeah. like, "Yep, this nigga's doing yeah. our edits." So, so because what? yeah, yeah, as soon as you give us a sample, we're like, "All right, you're down." But because you gave us all our edit, because you gave us all our clips as our editor, now they the the, the two girls that we're talking to, or we're in the process of talking to, can now take those and take them out of context to make people lure people in, and they can do that. Yep. And it's not just based off the images and hashtags. So they're gonna. So what I've done, uh, just quickly off topic. So yeah. what I've done with the uh, clips ever since uh, you had that one issue where they was like taking shit out of context. Mm-hmm. So that's why you've been having like part ones, part twos, yeah. part three. So mm-hmm. I'll take the whole subject you. and sometimes it's six minutes long. This phone is ass cheeks. <laughs> all right. So <laughs> this phone is like on the brink of fucking dying, dying. out this bitch. It overheat like a motherfucker. It, it really fucking You me. what? Yeah. And, this man um, needs a new one. This man needs a new phone. You know, you can start a GoFundMe. Uh, <laughs> Why don't you join team <laughs> Android? <laughs> Absolutely not. What? I stand what? on that. Why? Me. They just re- re-released the iPhone 14 and called it the 15. 15. <laughs> and, I hope you know that. added 300 more dollars. So when you upgrade, you just get your, your same phone. I have the iPhone 12, sir. It'll be an upgrade regardless. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> All right. Look, you know, I feel it. I feel look, it. You're the special uh, case. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. But, um, so, but yeah. That, so, yeah. Bigger things are coming. Oh, hell yeah. 24. 24. 20, I feel it, bro. And it's the election year. Yep. Everyone going to be tweaking. Yeah. Everyone going to be talking so much shit. 
I think we already know where I where I stand on when it comes to politics. Um, I'm not gonna mention that on here. <laughs> yeah, because that, that's gonna be a yeah. whole oh, fucking. Yeah. We'll be here for another hour. It's not even know. that. The live is just gonna get cut off because hey, if oh, you yeah, talk okay, about okay. yeah, if you talk yeah. about politics, Boop. yep, they're yep. just yep. gonna cut you off. So. We we know where I stand. Uh, if you guys would uh like to know, Smoke Three Beer Gaming, IG. There yeah. you go. There you go. Um, so what, what other questions you got? Yeah, next. So next th- they asked. This one was for y'all. They're like, so what? made y'all want to start the podcast oh, and shit. why do y'all speak about just random things instead of like one specific topic like most mm-hmm. podcasts and everything so that, that's that's for y'all you want to take that um okay damn i ain't done that in a minute um oh. remember that remember that oh. that's how we used to start every episode yeah that's how i used to start every episode oh um so <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, cause yeah, you're right. Cause a lot of people want to know. So, um, and we we are. If you look at, at our Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all that, uh, the listening platforms, mm-hmm. it says culture, culture and leisure. So that means we don't we don't focus on one specific thing. The biggest thing is there's so many things in the world that you can talk about. All right, let, let, yeah, go let ahead. Let's summarize it. it with the first question we ever asked on this podcast: mm-hmm. What is your reality? Yes. Damn, I remember that fucking shit. Duh. That, that's literally the only way I can summarize. Because we aren't just one-dimensional people. Mm-hmm. We can't just wake up every day and care about sports every single day. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we have random thoughts that pass through our heads. Yeah, we're lying on that one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Intrusive sometimes thoughts. you want to know. You, me and you can see the same thing, but you come away with a different experience out of it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? To me, it could have been the funniest shit ever. Mm-hmm. To you, you mean like, damn, that's sad, but it's probably going to be even funnier yeah. than you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> it'd yeah be this, funny. Is, this is what we're doing. We're coming for me like this? No, that's, 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 that's wild. That's a I mean, yeah, everybody has a different perspective. You know like, saying? we might be like, oh, shit, damn, that hurts. But damn. then you might t- take I'm, that. I'm going to make hella dank it. memes out of yeah, that. Exactly. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. yeah. Do you know how many dank memes I made? Oh, out bro. The, the fucking submarine? Bro, what the fuck? I think, and to piggyback off of what he said with what is your reality, it's we basically um everybody that we've invited on here has a different reality and perspective on life and that's why we can have a conversation with any and everybody even you said yourself the first time you met me you're like i don't know this this nigga why is he talking to me like Mm. but that's the thing i want to know you where you're coming from are you a fed (laughs) (laughs) no i'm not gonna lie bro Cause the way I be conversing with motherfuckers, like the way I be asking people questions, they think that be like, "Why are you asking me?" We, I, yeah, like, no, especially they be, you, they bro. Be I'm like, I, I looked at you. I'm like, Jeff, your brother's a fed. Bro, they they really be thinking like, who you undercover? Like, <laughs> we got who watch sent him. you, bro? Why do you care so? Execute him. <laughs> <laughs> you watch it. <laughs> oh shit! But yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know what I'm saying. So it, most of it just kind of goes back on like just want like just instant intrusive thoughts, mm-hmm. things we think about every day, but we don't think deeply about them. Mm-hmm. Things we just write off and focus uh, like when we're focusing on the more important things in life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we we touch on those things. You know, we start at what's the core of mm-hmm. what makes you you. <laughs> but it's like, what are things that you like interests that you like quirks that you have mm-hmm. you know shit that pet peeves you have you see what i'm saying like you can find common ground with a lot of people that you would consider your enemy you know in life just by understanding their take and you know their frame of reference on how they view the world and shit like that, that. is true so it, it, and i've always been the one where ever since i was a kid i'm always asking questions i was always in trouble i was always got in trouble in school because i was always talking Always talking. I never shut the fuck up. Jeff, you asked too many questions. And I remember one time I asked a legitimate question to my AP biology teacher. And he couldn't answer the question. Because he couldn't answer the question, because I stumped him, he instead made me the butt of a joke to get the whole class to, like, you know, turn on me, like, laugh at me and shit like that. I just roast the shit out of him. You feel me? What the fuck? Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it's like, okay, so if there's a, uh, uh, I guess... Um, a social structure, you know, a, a, a rubric on how I should be asking questions and interacting with people so I don't look weird, you see what I'm saying, like, then this is lame, this is stupid, you know what I'm saying, I'd rather do my own shit, you know, figure out life the way 
you know, I, I, I believe I should be figuring out life. And maybe, you know, someone can teach me something from their experience in their life. Or maybe I can, you know, resonate with some of the lessons they've learned in their life. And I can call back and be like, okay, I've experienced that. I can empathize with you. I understand. And if I've never experienced it, you give me a new, you know, scope, like a new vision on, you know, this is what's really happening in real life. That's real. Move forward a little bit because you're not in the camera. Oh, yeah. All right. Wait, yeah. Am, am I good? No, you're good. You're good. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's the one that's but, uh, in the camera. Yeah. I, I guess. Does that kind of answer the question? No, that does answer the question. But but again, too, and, and that's the thing, and that's why we, we want to make it bigger. Um, we want to start traveling to different states, maybe outside the country, mm. have conversations with people out there because, everybody, like you said, everybody has a different experience. Everybody mm. has a different reality. And there's certain things that are in your head that you always think, man, I can't have a conversation or talk about it because I either have to pay for a therapist or nobody wants to listen. No one wants to listen or they're going to think I'm weird. They're going to think I'm weird, yeah. So we bring you into this. Or it's politics. Politics is going to guide every single discussion you have with people outside. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to kind of... So we created this uh, this room and then, of course, eventually we're going to start doing it in the living room so we can have more more bodies, more um, more people, so we right. can have the, a, a wider, broader count conversation with, and then do the traveling part of it too, and then find people that want to have the conversation mm-hmm. with, just so we can get their different experiences. That's the reason why we started this, and that's the reason why we don't focus on because how many times can you regurgitate the same thing over and over again? That is true. If you focus on something on that spe- specific, specific thing, thing. Yeah. like Joe Rogan's podcast is so successful because he talks about everything. everything. You see what that I'm saying? True. He has you know every saying? every person in every walks right. of life right. um, come in, and I mean, there's some days he'll learn be learned about uh, microorganisms. Other days he'll be learned about philosophy. Other days he'll be conspiracy, le- conspiracy, he even history, ha- history, war. Yeah. But that's the you thing. He has like different, that. and right. that's why his podcast is interesting, and that's why we have so many people that listen to us online is because we're not focused on something specific. And even on some days when it's just him and I, where we're just talking about movies. People will be like, oh, shit, I was thinking about this a month ago or Mm -hmm. last week, and they're actually talking about it, so let me tune in and listen. So that's kind of the reason why we do that, because... That's, that's why I really like the uh, Halloween specials that y'all oh, was that's doing. Fine. Yeah, 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 it was just random and shit. I'm like, I'll be at work. No you didn't shit. expect that, right? I'm not gonna lie. He's I'll like, be at work. y'all niggas dressed up at Roaches and didn't call it me. Didn't no, call you me. couldn't let me know ahead of time. I'd have tuned in for this shit. It was, it was supposed to be a surprise. Like we wanted to just kind of surprise everyone yeah. with the with the whole roach. Yeah, we're exactly. gonna do something again next year too. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we're definitely. Sure. Gonna I was, do something I again was next uh, year. every time that y'all release an episode, I'm not gonna lie to you. So every time, even if it's a rewind, I'll be at work. All right, so I'll just or, instead of having it like this, put it like screen down mm-hmm. against your thigh. I'll just put it this way, so that way I got no irritation and shit. Mm-hmm. And just, for a whole hour and a half, I'm like, damn, I got one headphone in. I'm like, damn, this motherfucker really just said titty sprinkles. What in the fuck are they talking? What you? The fuck? What? And I'll just start busting out laughing, uh, and then my boss will go by. He's like, "What the fuck are you laughing?" I'm like, "You, you don't really understand, bro. You don't yeah, understand." Bro. But like, that's what I'm saying, and, and that's the thing too—the joy that we bring by making people laugh by the random shit that comes out of our, uh, that pops in our head and comes Absolutely. out of our mouth. It's like, damn, they they really just said that, and it's like nobody really ever really does something like that, like. No, uh, and no offense to Joe Rogan, like you never, you, Joe Rogan doesn't really do the whole jokes and all that stuff like that. It's more of a serious, more serious conversations. Like you can, you can give us a serious story, but then you can joke the next minute and we can have a laugh. And that's the thing. It's like when I'm watching or listening to a podcast, I want to laugh because laughing is the best thing that you can ever do, especially if you want to escape your own reality and jump into another one or get into a reality that's exactly mm-hmm. similar mm-hmm. situation like yours, like. Mm-hmm certain things we talk about we'll get comments on the shorts that we put that you make for us and we put out or the the podcast and they'll be like man thank you for this like one of your shorts we helped a guy because of the clip that you created he's like man i can't for, for the forgive them for you was the perfect clip that you ever created couldn't he's like i can never forgive we had a i had a conversation with the guy and he's like thank you for listening blah 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 i appreciate you for um releasing this clip that's just another subscriber but that's what i'm saying these things help and that's that's one of the reasons why my brother and i wanted to start this we want to not just hear your stories but to help as much as we can you see what i'm saying Mm -hmm. because somebody's going through maybe even help you think in a different way too you see what i'm saying like think so outside the box like you see Mm -hmm. you find the answer to something you weren't even looking for you see what i'm saying because it's like the way we get deep into you know different types of 
concepts, you know, or theories and shit like that. That's different way. Th- those are different ways of thinking you can apply to life, even in making a sandwich or taking care of yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you understand how everything is just all energies connected and it's just a transference yeah. from one state to another, everything in life is connected. You see what I'm saying? We just got to find the, the, the connections between them. And then, you know, I just feel like we can build clearer pictures on what we want out of life and how and, and what we want our future to be. And another thing, like what he's saying right now, there's a lot of people by, that might say what you're saying sounds like bullshit and they don't believe in us. But that's, that's just a different perspective of right. listen. No, you're always okay. going to handle right. stuff. Right. So that's yeah. fine. That's fine. <laughs> and you know that's, that's fine. We're not going to get offended by it or anything like you can say, I'm just going to tell you to kiss my ass. Like, what the fuck? People can say dog shit to us, and we still like, okay, whatever. We move oh. on. We have thick skin. You see what I'm saying? So It's, it's not, not even thick look, skin. It's just like, look, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Oh, look, my look, family's man. dead. Uh, uh, <laughs> what? man, you, you go ahead and talk shit to me in the comments if you want. Don't think I'm not going to respond. I'm going to respond. I got time, like you said. Y- y'all don't have time. You know what I'm saying? I got time. Mm-hmm. Like, if they're positive comments, we engage in them and stuff oh, like hell that. hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or even if it's, like, constructive criticism. Like, we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll fuck with that. Yeah, like, well, sometimes we'll get constructive right. criticism or comments, and then we'll, we'll be like, all right, like, what is the correct answer? Give me your perspective of yeah, what it is. Yeah. And then they'll rebuttal with something that has nothing to do with the conversation, and we're like, all right, we're done with this because it's like I'm wasting my energy and time right. on on something. If you're not open-minded about having a the conversation, then right. I'm wasting my time. Well, not even right. just open-minded, but if you're just steadily trying to prove your point is better than mine. Right, because you you made that comment. And because I'm over here telling right. you. I'm challenging you. And you already set the framework for the answer you're willing to accept. Yes. Yep. So anything outside of that answer, you're, you're not, not going to accept you exactly. You've already made up your mind. You've already made answer. up your mind the moment you came with that comment. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm yeah. saying? Which, huh. I, I can agree. There was this one dude that commented on the... Uh, one of my Outlast 2 videos, mm-hmm. I just deleted his comment mm-hmm. because we went back and forth, back and forth. He's, and you're just yeah. wasting your time at Literally, that I'm like, bro, you you are doing way too much <laughs> and all this extra shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not about to sit here and argue with you for two hours. Right. Like, right. I can understand responding, which I respond to all my positive mm-hmm. feedback and mm-hmm. everything on mm-hmm. all my YouTube channels, which, it, shameless plug, Smoke the Reaper Gaming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Sensation. <laughs> the Reaper Army has been going in Really That's strong awesome. and That's everything, awesome. and nothing but love and feedback. I've have not received a negative comment since that dude, mm-hmm. and that was about two months ago. And that was my second mm-hmm. bad oh. review, and that was over a year of me doing this. Yeah, so I've been getting nothing but love and everything when it comes to that. Um, and like you said, like the positive comments, mm-hmm. and you, get, you know, you're gonna interact. Yeah, yeah. The negatives. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna come at you sideways. I'm just gonna be like, okay, so why do you why, think why you that think, way? Yeah. Right, what, right. What, how do you think I can improve this video? Let, yeah. let me know that. But so. if your conclusion is already an answer that you you you've accepted, then it doesn't matter what you say. Right. If it's not the answer they want to hear, right. they don't care. They That's don't real, care. bro. Right. Bro got in some some uh, some disrespectful shit. I'm like, bro. You sure? Okay. <laughs> like, you, <laughs> and, and just deleted the whole comment. Because like, if you really think about it, it's like they're they're doing the job like. The job that they're trying to do, you made it successful for them. Because mm-hmm. they're, they're rage baiting you. They're trying to, you know, goad you into a mm-hmm. whole discussion Literally. and shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The, the funny part is, is that the Reaper Army really got in and started oh, attacking Oof. that dude. I didn't want that. This pit, my, Ain't that what my, happened? That's how it is. My, my YouTube. They're defending you because you're doing your job yeah, my, to my, entertain them. My YouTube is not a place for none. We're not going to tolerate none of this disrespectful right, shit. None of this... Right. Um, this negative shit. My my YouTube channel is very positive mm-hmm. and everything. Right. And as soon as one of y'all decide to act up, the Reaper Army's gonna come after you. I don't want none of that. So get, the that. get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Word. Yeah. Word. So word. But 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 to 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 in conclusion of all that. But that's that's the reason why uh, we don't focus. That's the reason why we started the podcast, and that's the reason why we we don't focus on something specific because there's so much in the world to talk about. Um, we can't there, and there's only so many times you can regurgitate the same talking point like certain podcasts that I listen to um, they regurgitate the same talking points over and over and over again it's just with different people and the only reason why it's entertaining and interesting to me is because the pe- the new people that he brings on has different the toxicity yes <laughs> The degeneracy. The degeneracy. No, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, so no, no, no. 
the blasphemy is what the, it the is. Blasphemy. The blaspheme. <laughs> the blaspheme. But uh, it he he repeats the same talking points, but the answers that come out the mouths of the people that he invites are always different, which is what keeps it interesting. Other than that, that's it. But for us, you'll never understand. Besides us starting the intro and saying the same shit in the intro, you'll never know what's going to come out of our mouths next. Uh, you are absolutely fucking right on that one, bro. <laughs> yeah. Every fucking time yes. I tune in, I'm like, this motherfucker going to say something outlandish. <laughs> I, I, I try to pinpoint when it's about to be. I'm like, it's going to be 17 minutes. Nope. Off rip. Oh, 30 dude. seconds. In, it's just bullshit. Oh, my God. Damn. damn. <laughs> Hey, what hey, the fuck? Like, like you said too, and then when we had the entire episode talking about um, eating ass, I that mean, nobody expected that. that bro, he, he, he even texted me. I He's like, busted what? Out. what? I didn't even dude, expect that. I'm not gonna lie to you, dude. Oh I busted out laughing at what? the entire hour and some change that y'all did that episode. I busted oh, out laughing. Everybody's like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm like, bro, look, this thing is talking about eating ass yeah. of dudes. Like, what? That shit was crazy, bro. Oh, man. But that's the thing, and that's what keeps it interesting. That's what keep, keeps people tuning in. Like, for us, we are our number one listen right now is I Have No Enemies, but it turns out it was actually Can I Have a Level 7 Outer Rim? And that's when we did, we did, um, um, we had the special guest, Cadence. Cadence, right. She's a, she's a, she is a former teacher, um, and she was just kind of explaining the, um, the her book, uh, her book program club and um, then she created a website mm-hmm. all that stuff like that so we just had her on here so as a as a tribute we basically just um played it because you know spotify gives you what they listen to the most the spotify rap yeah at the end of, rap the, year, at the, yeah, end of the year and of course this, the art of manipulation is what brought everybody in to starting to listen to all all the other episodes and then we just checked the other day it's already at 65 listens mm-hmm. so but it, it's just the stuff like that and and people keep coming back Yes, we don't have a lot of um, views on YouTube, but we have a lot of listens um, around the world. And the reason why people keep coming back is they don't know what to expect next. Mm-hmm. Because you can look like, I, and I keep using Joe Rogan as an example, but you can look at Joe Rogan and he brings in a famous person that you know. You automatically know what they're going to talk about because they're, they're going on these tours talking about the same thing. People are asking, them, regurgitating the same questions to them, mm-hmm. and it's like they'll go through their whole late night show mm-hmm. tour, and it's and, and, it's, and it's not, and, and it's all scripted. They ask the same questions, so I'll watch uh, Jimmy Fallon's show, and then go to Jimmy Kimmel's show, and then I'll ask the same similar questions. Especially if it's like a movie tour, it's not something out of the box that you're like, oh my god, I didn't know you were going to answer, mm-hmm. ask me that. Everybody asks the same questions, and every time you come here. You you don't know what to expect every time somebody else comes here they don't know what to expect right. so that's it, real and right. and and it's fun it's fun because I'm talking to Juliana's father Dan mm-hmm. he's gonna be coming here with his wife and he keeps asking what are we gonna talk about I say everything and nothing at the at same the time same time just some so he's trying yes he's just trying to create the the, the um uh, a premise for the show or of what he can talk about and it's like you can't we can't prepare you for this it's whatever it's whatever it is whatever yep. yeah so <laughs> yes whatever exactly. comes to your whatever, head. Start, whatever starts flowing we want to talk about buttons on a remote let's talk about that yeah, see, you know what I'm saying? but that's the thing. That's what. <laughs> why, did, why does this yellow one turn? Why does yellow? yellow, bro? You ever try to mix the colors and it don't do shit? You know what I'm saying? Like for Literally. real? Yeah. You sure I mean, what I'm saying? You know, now they, now they well, that thing. one works too, but so. Well, but I'm it's saying, like I'm saying, like now they got the app. Yeah, 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 yeah. They do. Yeah, yeah, because he has a connected. I got, I, yeah, I got a new like screen RGB yep. strips and shit, mm-hmm. and then now it's all connected to the app, and then you could get it to respond to the sounds and shit. Oh, that Dude, shit! I'll be different. playing my music and everything. That, that, that should be club in my room and shit. I'll be playing future and shit. Well, yeah, but that that's that's kind of the reason why. So. Okay, I respect it. What else you got for us? What else you got? Let's see. Your audience are very curious because you're always on on here, and they're like, "Damn, this nigga's doing this and that," and they're like, "Okay, God damn, does smoke not take a fucking break? Nah, Shit, bro, we work until we die. Nah, Doesn't yeah. matter how successful you become." I don't know. I want to stop. You know, like, if you don't get like, the fuck what? out of here, what? What the fuck? Work I'm trying to retire by the time I'm thirty. Like, what the you fuck? Watch us become immortal, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, what watch us be immortal. You're gonna be thirty forever. Work until we die. Okay. You know what? Yeah, that's real right, shit. Like, if right. you don't shut the fuck up. I just become immortal. <laughs> Work until we die. Yeah, okay. Yeah, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> but uh, the next one I got, they, what was your worst day in the street? Okay, well, mm-hmm. I would, my worst day, I would say is when, it, it was definitely 2015. Mm-hmm. 
Um, I would say, yeah, I would say like when I lost my cousin, that was uh, July thirteenth, and um, I ain't been right since. I'm not gonna lie to you. I have sure. not been right since. My my mind has not been right. It has not been in the same space. That's when everything for me really became a reality. Like I was in autopilot before, but now I'm in a reality. Like damn, this is really starting to set in. Mm-hmm. And like I explained in the car, like last time I was on here, like I don't remember the nine months. Oh no, I ran into a couple people that you know I was hanging around during that time period, and it was one name that he said, and I not even gonna lie to you, I sat here and went in autopilot, and I was just staring at him, and as I was staring at him, his voice was distancing and everything, Damn. and all the memories started flying back. It was just. It was like a from the one name that the guy said. Flashcards and everything. It was like the uh, the like old a movies. Like yeah, it was right, like the right. old movies and shit. Like that's how I was going. And I'm yeah. like, I do not want to remember this shit Damn. one fucking bit. And every single memory came back into focus. And I sat there for a little bit mm. and was like, Damn. Because I thought you. this was all dreams. They I'm not going to lie to you. Right. I thought these were all dreams. And, I'm, and when they really sat here, and I'm like, this shit really fucking happened. Holy fucking shit. Wait yeah. a minute. And then I really started, like, I'm like, damn, I really am the last motherfucker, bro. I, like, I lost, lost so many damn people that I forgot their fucking names. How many days has it been since you slept? Two weeks. Two weeks. Wow. Two weeks. I'm not, wow. like, no naps, no nothing. I'm two weeks straight up. Hey, you look, you looking exhausted, bro. When we, were, when we were driving here, he looked exhausted. Wow. So that's the thing, man. You got no, like, I say you, I would right? say you'd have to go on, like, mel, uh, not melatonin, no, um, what's that morphine, morphine. Just to put you to sleep. It's some <laughs> good shit. <laughs> <laughs> what's that uh, one thing that be slowing you down? The melatonin? No, not melatonin. Promethazine? Is it promethazine? You get a prescription for that shit. Smoke lights being awake. (laughs) Really? So you don't want to sleep? I want to sleep. Don't get me wrong. Okay, okay. Yeah, you need some morphine. How he just going to get morphine like that, yeah? Break your leg. Okay, you know, I already already know you know the answer to that. You know? You know? Uh, I already know. Be like, be like, um, be like, um, the I knew what's the name of the movie? Um, uh, Eight Mile. Not when, Eight Mile. When eight when mile. Eminem's buddy accidentally shot Cheddar sh- Bomb. Cheddar Bomb. <laughs> <laughs> oh my leg! Cheddar Bomb. He's like, I got a gun. Oh man, that's oh that's literally dope. like you man, crazy. That man, how you shoot? How you try to be cool and you shoot your own self in the leg? Literally, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, that's um, dope. yeah man, it's, it's been you, it's been two weeks yeah, since I've been. slept, but it's been. Over a month since I've had that conversation, I've just been really sitting here, and as each day goes by, I remember more and more and more and more. But and I'm more. glad because you were also saying to me um, that you got, Mike got you out of the house because you were just yeah, so in that state. It's so. cooped up. I'm 21 right now. I'm 22 pretty much because on the 29th I'm gonna be 22. Oh, you're right. December baby. Oh, you're just. Ah! Oh, yeah, That's bro. why you guys like each yes, other. Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, it, it's a Capricorn thing, yep, bro. Capricorn it's a Capricorn game, yeah. bro. Because he's twenty six. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, it, it's it's really been hitting here lately. I'm not gonna lie. Not the age. Mm-hmm. Not none of that. that. I'm not worried about that. But yeah. um, as I'm starting to remember everything, and I mean everything, from. Just times when I when I first got there to the time I left, I remember everything, mm-hmm. and I'm like, Dude, I I I don't I don't want to remember this one fucking bit. Like there there no bullshit. Last night normally I'm on Xbox. I did not get on. I got home and just laid there and did nothing but sat there and Shit. fucking remembered every fucking thing. I didn't yeah, eat last night, thing. and I'm like, that's the worst thing you can do. Like at that point, I was like, I was starting to really remember everything where like. I had my door closed and locked. I didn't want nobody up in there mm-hmm. at all. Like I, I was, I was a fucking vegetable pretty much. Like, I was, just, I was just laying there Damn, and everything yeah. was just fucking coming. I'm like, Damn. Oh, bro, because it started at work, 
and I gotta be efficient at work. I'm constantly moving. Mm-hmm. But you know it's bad when even uh, the people that I work with, like, bro, you good? Or you, like you, they you, could they could they like could tell something's right. wrong. Yeah, yeah. Like, you've you been fucking up all day, bro. You or, you straight? Like what the fuck? The vibes was off. I feel like. I'm like, I don't want to answer that one, bro. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. So um, I sat here and I was really thinking about some shit, and then I've really started remembering how each. And every one of my homies wind up going out and shit. Mm-hmm. And I distinctly remember a lot of shit and having no, like, no homo before and after this. I don't give a fuck how you take this. But I had, like, there was someone where that, that literally died in my fucking arms and shit mm-hmm. while wearing this. Damn. But Damn. It, it's, uh, Damn. It's traumatic. I feel it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, here... After all that shit, my, my, my fucking right hand has been shaking. I don't... I've never had that shit happen before. I don't know how to feel about this one. And I don't know what fucking symptom that is. Because it has not stopped shaking. Mm-hmm. One bit. It, it just keeps shaking. Even when I'm at work, I'm over here. The box is fucking shaking. As I'm, and these are like 50-pound boxes. Some some of them. And the whole shit is shaking. Because I, I can't control this what shit. Do you, what do you think it is? I, Fear? Fear not. No, I don't think he's uh, afraid. Bro, I had a fucking shotgun aimed to my yeah, damn head. Dude, what dude. the fuck? And it didn't go yeah. off. Yeah, that was the crazy thing. It's not fear. I don't. I don't know what it is, but I will say that here lately, like it's been every little sound has been setting off shit. I'm not gonna lie to you. So is it sudden sound, loud sound? It keep, bro. Is it you the think qu- that's compounding with you not sleeping? The no, stress because I I could be sleeping and I, it would still be the same. It's um. It's just gotten worse. Do you think worse. it's the realizations that you are actually the last one? You know, as the years go on, and I won't lie to you, um, as the years go on, you really, at least for me, I'm, I've been really sitting like, damn, I've really, I'm the last motherfucker here. Like, this, this is, and you know, I will give Mike props for this and shit, because Mike is, uh, like I said, he, he, I met him in 2016, mm-hmm. toward the end of everything. So he knows a little bit about a little bit, mm-hmm. and like he he knows about Red and tweaking all of them and everything. So he knows he senses whenever that shit is afoot. He knows when I'm not right. So he, I will say like this in this uh this entire month and all the last month that's when everything really started when I really got quiet. He's mm-hmm. like you straight, which is why he's uh he took his vacation on my birthday to get me out of the house. That's what's up. Um, that's what's up. It's uh. You guys it, going it, it anywhere just, in particular or just cruising? I have no idea. Oh, okay, so it's, it's going to be like a so, bros day. I feel it. It just sucks, bro, because like right after Christmas, you got the 26, which is cool. But then you got 27, 28, which is Twinkie and his birthday. My birthday is 29th. Red's birthday is the Damn. Day. So and that, ironic as Damn. it is. That's crazy. You know, That's crazy. That, that whole week is, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm going to be so fucking quiet. I'm not, Word. Because last year, I'm not going to lie to you. I was MIA for two weeks. Nobody knew where I was. Mike mm-hmm. couldn't get a hold of me. Nobody. So he hit you up before you MIA again. Oh yeah. I, I feel it. Yeah. I went MIA like I ghosted everybody. I think that's a good idea though. Like switch it up instead of shutting down. You know, bro, on, on their when, days like yeah. celebrate it. Celebrate their life, bro. Dude, when, when I shut down, bro, I shut down I completely. Like, it, I feel it. It's, I'm on like a fucking robot. When I shut down, I'm done. Like they just. Because remember what we talked about last time. We said celebrate them from your success of where you are at now. Right. So what you're doing with your life, the beats that you're creating, your channel that's becoming successful, the editing that you're doing for us, like it, it's all going to play a role in the future. Right. The the liquor and wine that you're creating, right. um, all these licenses that you're, I mean, you're you're doing great. Put it, right. celebrate them through your success. Right. Bro, that shit's hard, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, like. Oh, for oh, sure, for sure, absolutely. yeah, it's, uh, definitely, absolutely. I'm not gonna say this is easy. It's, uh, absolutely. Every every day, especially since we're getting closer and closer to the birthday, mm-hmm. shit, I've been hella fucking quiet, bro. I'm not gonna yeah. lie to you, I'm man. It, there be days where Mike be just talking, like, bro, if you don't shut the fuck up, man, God damn, you talk too fucking much, mm-hmm. shit. But then <laughs> you what? Um, <laughs> oh, oh man! No, we'll say, like, but you like even Mike, Mike's your brothers. <laughs> as much as you hate them, you love them. 
unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, man. I don't know, man. It's, it's just... Uh, it is bad, too, bro, where it's like... It's like a little, little things that'll set it off. Mm-hmm. That's why I, I don't want to be in, like, Fort Myers anymore. Yeah. When I want to move. Because yeah. every little area now is... I've been there. I was mm-hmm. with, with the homies and everything. So there's just one specific area that uh, I took Mike to, took Rio to, and everything. N- not like that. Leave me alone. Um, <laughs> I told you. He thought I was joking. No. <laughs> but um, no. Uh, I took him to the, uh, the Tarpon Pier. The Tarpon Pier, is, it's not there no more, but what the, uh, what the people around there did. Mm-hmm. There's this uh, long piece of wood. And all the debris and uh, like concrete and everything, mm-hmm. they pretty much put it in a way where that shit is not going nowhere. Okay. So you're still able to sit on the water and watch the sunset. Mm-hmm. It's peaceful as fuck. Mm-hmm. And that's the spot that me and all the homies went. And we actually sat there and did not matter how long. We would sit there from two in the afternoon to fucking three in the morning sometimes just to get away from the chaos and just because you don't hear cars gotcha it's peaceful you don't hear cars you don't hear people all you hear is the waves because they're right above everything and it wasn't like one of those short periods where like you take a couple steps okay i'm above water Uh no you went out there it was a long pier Mm -hmm. so you was away from everything all you heard was waves that's it and one occasionally you'll hear a couple fishing about the water Mm -hmm. But um, I went there. It was peaceful. But when uh, Mike was there, he's like, he was trying to get my attention, but I just zoomed out, bro. Like everything. Oh yeah, we. I'm like Mike. I'm, just leave yeah. me the fuck alone right now, bro. This is this is. But uh, be quiet, bro. Nah, I feel it. I feel it. it it's just wild, bro. I feel it's, it. Um, Damn. I, I'm the only one, bro, that made it to 21. I'm the only one that's going to make it to 22. Like, yeah. you gonna, you're going to be the only one to make it to the rest of your life, yeah, bro. bro. I'm going to be 130. Yep, you better become a mortal. You better, you better be the first motherfucker in life for that CRISPR. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the first motherfucker. Yeah. That's real. Yeah. Inject me. First motherfucker is like, what? But, um, Building. I don't know. Every day that goes by, it, should, it gets really, really fucking hard, bro. Especially since I, I remember everything mm-hmm. and shit. Uh, it's just the amount of people alone mm-hmm. that I've lost. It's just it's like, bro, I feel like any regular person would have killed themselves by now. I'm mm-hmm. not going to lie to you because it, it, I'm not normal. That's so, the problem. So my question is, what keeps you going? Well, at this point, because you, you can you, go you, back. you Because you you, clearly you found something to hold on to, something mm-hmm. to keep going, that keeps you going. That's true. Man, look, the way I see it is uh, I've always told myself, like, yo, you know, I could take myself out. Yeah, but, you know, um, I'm not a bitch. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not about that. That I've always told myself, you know, killing yourself is bitch made mm-hmm. as fuck. And I'm I'm not no bitch. That's, so I'm going to ride this shit till the fucking wheels fall off out this bitch. Word. Okay. But, um, Word. And what stopped, what, what has stopped you from going back to the streets? I do not want to associate myself with that type of lifestyle anymore, bro. Mm-hmm. It has to be exhausting. It's um, it's not only that, bro, yeah. but it's, it's. I'm already paranoid as it is, dude, mm-hmm. and that I got PTSD. It's not PTSD because it's not a fucking disorder. And a lot of people like to sit here and say, "Is a oh, is it just no? It's not, bro. Because just because you didn't go through it, right? No, I got the disorder. Now, now everything is not me. fucking right. real. Right. Shit. <laughs> no, right. motherfucker, that motherfucker you, right there, not, not real. real. No, <laughs> fuck you and that medicine. All right, <laughs> PTSD, oh, post traumatic stress disorder. That, I, no, <laughs> this motherfucker, you drip. Jeff, you got a nice sword over there, sir. That motherfucker blunt as hell. You just go bludgeon him. <laughs> like, that no, that shit's sharp too. Blunt as hell. Really? Yeah, it's sharp. Oh, you should have oh, told shit. me that's, yeah, that's you gonna be crazy. a You're gonna fuck around having oh, that Japanese crazy, shit yeah. happen to your ass, bro. That's Black crazy. man dies by Zelda sword. <laughs> by the power of ROM, bitch. But, uh, 
Oh, man. What the fuck was I saying, Jeff? No, no, uh, what, what, what keeps you going? What, what, no, not what keeps you going. What makes you not want to go back okay. to the street? Oh, to the street. Because where, I where? know you, you've been telling us that it's really hard. It, yeah. Um, pause. And, um, <laughs> why, why, why does it have to be pause? <laughs> it's really, it's See, a, if you had to say pause, we could have, you know, we'd have been chill as fuck. I had you know that what I'm saying? It's pause. really hard. No, no, it's, it's really hard for you to, to, um, do what you want to do because there's so much going against you but you continue to push yourself yeah to yeah. get where you so need to get if, as much as i miss doing ratchet hood rat shit mm-hmm. you know not even just violence she's just you know just chilling with the homies doing some ignorant shit mm-hmm. you know because that's right. where all the fun was i can't have fun no more like where i'm living at because don't nobody do that shit over there mm-hmm. bro mm-hmm. i can't i damn sure can't do that shit in the burst He's black. <laughs> Get his black well, ass out of here. Remember, they came in and cleaned up all that shit. After, after yeah. Marcino came in, they did that whole fucking FBI came in. Mm-hmm. They was shutting everything the fuck down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, man, I can't, I can't do like all the, the shit that you know I Word. used to do, and then I'm not trying to go back and be around stupid shit like yeah i could sit here and i could still rep and everything i could still do that but at the end of the day what the fuck is that gonna do for me Word. Hey, I, ain't gonna put my i don't know right. i did that right. for him this period to this period of my life let's right. see how the fuck that shit went for me so far right. bro i'm already paranoid that the slightest leaf that looks at me sideways is gonna get lit the fuck up like what the fuck no, no, absolutely not like <laughs> Oh my god, this leaf is brown. Shoot it! No, 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 go wait. <laughs> the bush. <laughs> oh, the bush. Oh, the bush after that. The bush. Oh, man. Uh, sir, you didn't. Uh, let me go ahead and re explain this, bro. Oh, All right. Oh, shit. The bush. And <laughs> that's one of the fucking the questions. No. So, the bush. <laughs> I had the extended mag. It, the, the fucking shit was glorious. There's this fucking cinder block wall behind the bush. All right. Now, this bush is. It, it's like perfect bush. It, 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 I don't know how to fuck it's explain nice, a bush. It's well trimmed, well hedged, you know? It, it wasn't well trimmed. No. That just, shit was just way a wild bad. ass bush. It was just wild ass All bush. Right, a picture predator. There you go. <laughs> It was one of them bushes. Bush had dreads. Literally. <laughs> I'm dead. Some Chief Keef ass dreads and shit. But, um. <laughs> Chief Keef. But, um. On this. I shit shoot now. I saw three people go into that bush. Now, we was told to shoot first, ask questions later. later. I'm like, cool. So I see this shit and I open up on these motherfuckers. The whole shit. That, that fucking red comes, tweaky comes, gator comes. They train just... And it, it was like, it was a once in a lifetime predator scene. That's the best thing. And we were, just... I was over here we shooting this click, shit. Click, 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 click. <laughs> I weeping. I, the whole cinder block wall that was right there obliterated. The one that's on the other block. It had holes all up in there. The other oh, cinder block man. wall that was on the other block, it absorbed everything. But um, that bush, there was only three fucking branches that were standing up. It was. I look with. During that time for here, it was the iPhone Seven that was out during that time period. God damn! But I'm over here like. I'm over here looking on the ground. There's no blood. There's just leaves and branches, <laughs> torn branches. Tree sap. Poor bush. Uh, oh, didn't even get to get, go, there, go to I'm like, place. you know what? We're going to look in the morning. <laughs> so we look in the morning. No blood, no nothing. And that's when everybody looked at me and like, bro, you're fucking losing. You me. was tweaking I'm hard, like, motherfucker, boy. I know what I saw. Damn. It was three niggas here. And there's no way that they jumped all three of them at the same time over the center block wall. There's no way. That's Crazy. That's crazy. Smoke. When was the last time you slept? Not a week. In a yeah, I bet. Nah. And That's they all thought crazy. I was losing. I'm like, bro, I know what I saw. And then what was crazy is there was more instances like that that were happening. I would just meet with other people. They said they saw people in this area mm-hmm. and they started shooting in that area and there's nothing. And there's nothing. Come on, bro. Jeez. I'm not the only one that's going through this shit. It, and as Jeff would say, ghost. But uh, yeah, what do you, what do you think? Like deep down. Deep down. Well, everything that's going on over there, bro, I'm not going to lie to you. That, at that time period, possibly. Mm. Possibly. I'm not going to lie to you, but it was... Yeah, I mean... Uh, I, feel I, feel I, I went over there, and it's not it's not the same. It's lit up now. I'm like, damn. This they shit. cleaned it up? It's all cleaned up yeah. and shit? Yeah. The the house there's even a storage. The storage, right. the storage. They cleaned up that whole area, bro. Well, there's a... Uh, they tore down the house that I was in. Mm-hmm. Tore down the house next to it. 
Uh, there's a couple houses down the block that ain't there no more. I'm like, damn, bro. Dude, Word. This is not. This no, it's different. Insane, oh, bro. yeah. Bro, what the fuck? That big money came in, bro. Literally. I'm that like, big money bro, came in. The they bought up all everything, dog. They so, bought up everything. Just straight condos. It's, uh, it's definitely different, but yeah. I don't, I don't want to... I don't want to associate myself with that, bro. It took me two okay. years to get my mind right. At least mm-hmm. stable enough mm-hmm. to where I, I know, <coughs> you know, the difference between... I already knew the difference between right and wrong. Right. But, like, it, to get my mind just right to where, like, okay, I know if I do this, this... You can that, weigh the consequences yeah, and how well, they affect you. If I right. do this, this is 20 to right. life. And you're already black electric chair. Right. Okay, do this. Possibly. Do this. You're good. Okay, cool. But right to jail. <laughs> oh, Vic, you're sentenced to death. Electric share. Immediately. Yeah, do, do we still... Are there still some states that do yes. electric? Yeah, there's still some states. Not Florida, though, right? No. We, don't no, do, we do lethal injection. Do, 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 do. There's another one that they wanted to introduce where it's asphyxiation. The fuck do I want that for? They put you in a vacuum chamber and suck all the oxygen out and then you just pass the fuck out. The fuck just guillotine my shit? What the fuck? <laughs> It's the same shit. Oh, you just shoot motherfuckers into space. I, I would rather go out by gun firing squad. Shoot me right here. Firing squad? Damn. Ooh. You're not going to feel shit. If you have, they, they shoot you with a M14 that has 7.62 rounds, bro. That's an AK round. Bro. The bullets are this fucking big. I remember back in the day when the internet was fresh. When you had to type WW if you wanted to go watch a video or oh some shit. Oh, my God. God damn. <laughs> and what was it? It was like one of those fucking shock sites, bro. And I used to see fucking firing squad executions. Hey, man. You know, sometimes a motherfucker got to learn to shoot. But that shit up. was crazy, man. That shit was crazy. Because, like, oh, no, it wasn't. Um, that It was on, uh, what was it, Faces of Death. What the fuck is Faces on of Death? Oh, bro, it's literally a free documentary on, like, morbidity. That's, that's you know. the only way you'll be able to Right, if it's education. If it's education. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. right. So it was an educational film on, like, the fragility of life and shit. Mm-hmm. And it was just showed you different scenarios, like making us more <laughs> comfortable with the the macabre, or the, the yeah. death, you know, and shit like that. Shit so, that happens on a daily, yeah. Right. And they were actually showing, like, real footage. You see what I'm saying? He uh, was, like, uh, yeah. like World War Two era? Like no, World like, inner city, like, 1980s, 1990s Brooklyn, Chicago. Oh, okay. So it's more recent. Re- re- yeah, okay. recent shit. And there was, but it was like eerie. You know what I'm saying? Like them, you you know the Ted Bundy vibes during them days type shit. Oh hell, hell no. yeah. Absolutely you know what I'm saying? Not. Like on some creepy shit. Some Jeffrey you Jeffrey know? Dahmer. Type Jeffrey Dahmer shit, type yeah. shit. Right. Like it's in your in your neighborhood type shit. Like you being watched type shit. You know. Not so the watcher. What the fuck? Ooh. <laughs> Nah, so right. it was it was just kind of stuff like that, and it was just like most of that kind of desensitized me towards like death and shit. But um, I think most of I think the one time in real life where you know I was desensitized to death, I think this was back when we were in Immokalee. Mm-hmm. When Immokalee, I lived in the Rat. I'm not gonna name specifics because you know. I don't know if this is an open or shut case type shit. Like, it'll come back in the future or something like that. From but, how uh, long ago? This was back when we were in uh, Sanders Pine. And you think it might still be over? You do understand there are cold cases they're still solving today, right? I hope you know that. That's crazy. Yeah. What the hell Like, technology that? never stops. Why do you think they're catching serial killers from the 80s and shit? You see what I'm saying? That's, because that's we have, if they reopen yeah, the case. Right, that's if they reopen the case. You feel me? God damn you, Bruce. Bruce. Bruce, come here. What are you doing? Watch out, kid. Look, sit down. Sit down. It's all right, buddy. We're almost done, We're almost okay? We're done, buddy. It's all right, buddy. I know, I know. I know. Damn, we're almost done. I got but, so many things to talk about. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, Let me, Let me just wrap yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, go to the next one, Vic. Go to the next one. Well, this one is for you, bro. They, they Specifically like, for me? Yep. When did Jeff get into Star Wars? When did I get into Star Wars? Yeah. Shit. Ooh. Was it... It wasn't the original trilogy. It was fucking... 
Nah. It was the remake trilogy. Or not the remake, the prequel trilogy. Okay, I'm so glad you corrected yourself. I was about yeah, to correct yeah, your yeah. ass so quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was the prequel. The, it, it was, was the, the prequel, prequel trilogy. That when they introduced Darth Maul, which is right behind you, by the way. Dude. Princess. The Maul. reason why I liked Star Wars was because... Oh, Princess Leia. With you're you're, you're going to think this is crazy. The reason why I, I started to watch Star Wars was because of Qui-Gon Jinn. Yep. And Nothing. Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> Everybody hates Jar Jar. Everybody hates oh, Jar Jar. Oh man, Misa, Misa say <laughs> that nigga's a plant. <laughs> Dog, he's a, not a plant, bro. Dog, plant. that's crazy. That nigga's man. a plant. He's a plant. That's crazy. And Jar Jar Binks is a plant. Oh, that's yeah. it. Just to piss everybody off. That's and then if they make crazy. him a Jedi, oh, I'm, that's oh, it. That, they I'm, tried. I'm, 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 no, dark side, dark, dark Jar Jar or Darth Jar Jar, Dark Binks. <laughs> they better stop Ooh. playing. Could you imagine? They better bro? stop playing. Oh, bro. They better stop bro. playing. Bro. No, but he's right. That's when I that's when I kind of gotten into Star Wars. And then um I went ahead and bought um four, five, and six, which was originally one, two, and three. Right. And then I actually marathoned all of it mm-hmm. just to get ready for the new ones that were coming out. Was this before or after they added uh Hayden Christensen at the end of the the original, okay, Be- uh, before. before I had I had the ori- I had the when they ori- had that old ass yes the mm-hmm. original old the ass, original yeah. old guy yeah, yeah they, before they CGI CGI the- Hayden Christensen Hayden into Christensen. the new into the right. when they remastered the, mm-hmm. the Blu-ray so okay. but yeah yeah that's that's and the- then we been what the Lego Star Wars game yeah. the Force Unleashed mm-hmm. uh, uh oh my goodness what was it Battlefront the the the, the, the PSP fucking mm-hmm. dude what <laughs> yeah. what was I- it. Ooh. What was the name of that game? I was always playing it on PSP. You could play uh 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 Force it, Force Awakens? No, not Force Awakens. No, what the fuck? Force Awakens. No, not you the Force what? Awakens. You got one more time for I take your play. <laughs> was it the original Battlefront? It was the original either, Battlefront. Either Battlefront, Battlefront 2, the OG The Battlefront. OG Battlefront, yeah. yeah. It was the OG Not the new Battlefront. Not the new Battlefront. No, the one that was trash. Yeah. With was, no story mode. <laughs> That shit yeah. was crazy. Oh, that shit was crazy. What do you mean trash? Oh, my God. At the time, that shit was lit. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's why my brother bought it. Yeah, boy, every day, man. Every single day, bro. Uh, for the Republic. Oh, oh, man. For the fucking Republic. Dog. For, that force Unleashed. Weird. Holy shit, bro. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, that, that, it, it, that's not what just got me into Star Wars. It's just... I, I, I like anything nerd all around, so I try to dabble in it. And if it interests me, then I like to learn the lore, mm-hmm. the, the the background story. I just like good storytelling. Yes. That's it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If and you got a good-ass story, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Interesting characters, you know? Like, and nothing, and, and, and don't include politics that reflect on my real world. I want to see made-up politics. How would aliens deal with their problems and their issues and mm-hmm. shit like that? You see what I'm saying? So... That's why I kind of like Star Wars because it was ahead of it. It was so forward thinking. We didn't have to like you look for example, right? Like we need, uh, 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 what should we call it? Specific representation in films now. Mm-hmm. But Star Wars was just like, oh wow, okay, you got everything, everything. Yeah. There was no race. Everything. You see what I'm saying? I mean, theoretically, you did have races. You just they just called them species. Right. Exactly. There were exactly. species. Exactly. Words. Species. You feel me? And there so was like normal human air on every planet. Exactly. And <laughs> humans were fucking everything, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Cockroaches. Yeah. We're cockroaches. cockroaches. We. That's why bro. we did the episode. Space damn roaches. It, bro. Stop sending our people back for oh, years. Shit. Wait till we infest Mars. That's gonna yep. be amazing. Yep. <laughs> We need a cockroach sound on here. <laughs> what does that sound like? No, that's yeah. not what a cockroach sounds like. <laughs> Ew. I feel like they make like a little hiss or like feet scrum. No, sound those are something. African cockroaches. Them fuckers are huge. Oh, the oh, hissing cockroaches? Not, not the oof oof cockroaches. The oof oof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, man. This is bad. <laughs> Oof, the oof, oof. Oh, oh man. Shit is Let's hell. see. Uh, okay. We, we did that one. Your best memory. What does a tattoo on your arm represent? There you go. Yeah. Uh, what inspired about. you to be a YouTuber? Okay. So, my best memory in the streets. Was there a best memory? We found good shit to do. Okay. That. They, most of it was bad, but we found times to uh, for good and shit. Um, 
I would say one one of the good memories was uh when uh me, Red, Twinkie and Gator, we all went and we went fishing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. down at that uh at that pier and shit and we did we didn't uh we couldn't we couldn't you know, we we was underage. We we couldn't buy alcohol yet, uh, so uh, we 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 paid a couple people to go and get it for us and shit. And I even slid them a couple more honey and shit. Fire. All right, don't say shit. You don't know us. You never saw us. <laughs> um, so we was there. We was just chilling all day. We was there from like ten in the morning till fucking four at night, and then we would go wow. back over there and we would do what we was doing. Um, that was that was a lit ass day because there there was nothing. It was just calm all day. Mm-hmm. And like everything was balanced. Everything, everything was cool because it was it was a cool day. Mm-hmm. It was windy. It was I wouldn't say windy. That it was almost, breezy. It was it was breezy. It was like mm-hmm. a nice cool breeze and everything. Mm-hmm. And it felt nice. You know, I'm not gonna lie. And everybody, everybody was calm, collective, and all day. We was I just chilling, that. have a good time, bro. I feel that. You know, usually your best days are the days where not a lot of shit is happening. Happening. Yeah. Where, and then um, I feel that. What does my tattoo represent? I mean, well, which one? Like, honestly, that, that's cool. I'm pretty sure though. they're probably talking about the Terminator cool one that you're so, trying to finish. Terminator one, it ain't finished yet. Um, I, pre- <laughs> I got this one, and it's supposed to represent me being immortal. I, everything I've been through, I have not died yet. All right, you know, it'd be crazy if he had a bionic arm with the tattoo, and then he actually like. The skin come off and it's the actual that arm. bionic arm. Or, that'd be crazy. Oh, but no, that'd be so oh, like, Not dumb. that Terminator scene, <laughs> dude. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> that shit was crazy. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, <laughs> he passed out. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, the tattoo represents um, you know, hey, I've smoked Reaper, bro. You can't kill but won't what? die. There you go. Um, there you go. Sensation. I'm intangible. Bet you they didn't think so. I command you to go ahead. Go That's ahead. real. Uh, what inspired you to be a YouTuber? Mm-hmm. So, um, buddy of mine. Us. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking with you. Go ahead. <laughs> it's the shit that come out my mouth. <laughs> I'm looking for the other us. <laughs> go ahead. I was so lost for a oh, second. I'm like, man. what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> what inspired me to be a YouTuber? So, a buddy of mine. Had a YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. Uh, he just stopped uploading and shit. I was doing voiceovers with him and shit. And we was, I I'm really that. good. Me and Mike, that's something that me and him really need to crack down on and shit. Because we're mm-hmm. really good at doing voice voiceovers and everything. Right. And we don't need to write this down. This comes off the top of our head. Right. I feel that. Yeah. And I've always been really that's good. That's usually like the best shit. Like, not scripted. You just fuck it. Hell yeah. We, we, like, we, the, the amount of mafia, uh, gang ones, uh, just business ones. Uh, just voiceovers that we've done just top of our head with no script, no nothing. There's none. All right, Damien, you need to say this at this cute. Mm-hmm. There's none of that. You know, we just top of our head, just off rip. Mm-hmm. Boom. And uh, we they will be going on for about two, three hours. So I, if I was to really dedicate that, I need better hardware. Or, yeah, hardware for sure, for to sure. To start that shit. Right. But if I was to really dedicate myself to that, that three hour thing, I could turn that into about six, seven videos right there. If mm-hmm. I really wanted to. And that's that. editing out a lot of shit. Right. But uh, what got me into it, in all honesty, over Yeah, over a year ago, right before I, I started and everything, um I was having a conversation with the uh, God damn shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. He said shit. I'm getting old. He's like, I gotta go in the archive. Bro. Literally, bro. I, I was talking to him. I was talking to Mike about it because he's like, bro, we need to start streaming and shit because, you know, we're always, we're gaming all day, every day anyway. Mm-hmm. We might as well get into it. I'm like, you know what? That's real shit. We put it off for three months and then, you know, in September, we said, you know what? Fuck it. We gonna start it. So mm-hmm. I made a Twitch account. I already had a YouTube account. I already had um, a, a wing challenge video up there and everything mm-hmm. and a Finance Freddy Jump Scare. Um, so I already had about, I don't know, 10 subs already from right. that. So mm-hmm. don't know how the fuck I got that. Did not pay attention. But um, <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's start it. So we started streaming. And that's when she started. Copy, paste. Copy, paste. Just up to mm-hmm. YouTube. Mm-hmm. Now, this is before YouTube really got strict. Yep. And I'm not going to get into that because of some reasons and shit. Right. Yeah, I'm fucking around red flag or shit. Um. Yeah, so we I started doing that, 
and fast forward from 10 subs to now we are at my boy cruising 675 subs yes sir we Keep love that pushing Oh, we love to yeah. hear that. And, and like they always say, like every YouTuber or person that says that's that when you start YouTube always says consistency. Yep. That's that's, it. It, I will say that's a, a very hard thing doing. Y'all y'all spoke about it mm-hmm. already, yeah. but like, because yeah, because yeah. impressions are really matter. Once you put yourself in the algorithm, it's gonna keep pushing your video mm-hmm. content. It, but if you stop for a week or two, it's gonna be hard to get back. But once you get right. the audience, it doesn't right. matter if you miss a month, you'll be fine because you you're, you'll be consistent. Yeah, that's real shit. But you know, YouTube be on some bullshit sometimes where they try to shadow ban your shit. Word. And especially Word. with me, I'm like, YouTube, do you not realize who the fuck I am? We will march. The Reaper Army <laughs> strong out this bitch. We will march. <laughs> like, <laughs> what the fuck? And you know, I will say, oh, like man. I said earlier, like with all the positive feedback that I've been getting and shit like mm-hmm. motherfuckers are really starting to hashtag reaper army in the in the comment section and that's everything fire. that's um, fine like, you should scroll up and you'll see i'll be interacting with the chat and everything and then that's what's whoever up. Yeah. doesn't comment w on there vid, vid smoke yeah yeah you know, uh, they'll come to the uh, ig and they'll let me know how much you like yep. yeah fuzzy nuts said he would need more of these fuzzy videos nuts. <laughs> I, these names, bro. I'll be busting out laughing and shit. Like, Check it. I'm like, damn, fuzzy nuts. What the fuck? Yo, sexual Coco. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, awesome. Man. Oh, Blasphemous shit. nugget. Yeah. Shouts out, man. Y'all got some. Y'all got some dope names. Oh hell yeah, man. Y'all already know. Reaper y'all Army stand strong. Y'all already dope know. Dope names. That's bro. what's up, man. That's what's up. Y'all see it for yourselves. It's always That's positive up, feedback bro. and shit. Yeah. And you know what? You did call that. It was not the Titanic one. The one before that. Mm. That episode. You're like, man, your, your people going to start. We want smoke. We, we want, want smoke. smoke. I'm yeah. like, bruh. Yeah. But now wait till he starts his, uh, what do you call that chat? The, the thing that goes up and down the screen with, with all the gamers. You talking about the live chat? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that, okay, so chat? that... That's for PlayStation. They are able to see that. Well, like every like um like Kaisenot does. Um, oh, because he's using what we're using. Okay, OBS. Yeah, they're on PC though. Yeah, they're on PC. But it shows up like that all the way. Okay. Right, but once I'm talking about like running up the screen, like that's what I'm talking about. Like, yeah, this. They just they can put this inside the chat if they pay for the upgraded version no i could do that right now if oh I okay to. i could do that right now if i wanted to i got you but we'll do it the next time once i get my pc set up it's gonna be cool because i need i need to upgrade my camera because i that's why i was asking how much that yeah was. yeah it went down uh almost uh 400 dollars. so yeah. Yeah. yesterday's yeah. price is not today's price. Not so today's price. Wait, is that a uh like a regular like USB type thing, like I, I could plug. You could do USB those. or you could do HDMI. So is it is it like those? So if you want to get 4K, you get this. You get the HDMI. Or, to, yeah. For um something that plugs into the Xbox, sir. That's why. Oh, it, the other end would be the. Oh yeah. Oh, you just get a. So it's it's like those like the little. Right. The, 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 yeah, the, okay. yeah. Yeah. Right. Cool. I just get a hub. Just get a USB hub. That's what we did. And it'll just make everything easier. Everything is connected to that hub. To that hub. And then the hub connects to the computer, so. Okay, word. Because uh, we're going to be upgrading our shit. Because I can't stand the S- camera that I got. Same thing. Same same as we. That. Like I said, 2024 is our year, man. Oh, hell yeah, bro. The Reaper, <laughs> the Reaper Army is just starting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hell no, nah, bro. We, <laughs> the, <laughs> next year's goal. Because I'm pretty sure, if anything, I'm going to possibly end the year with like maybe three more subs. And that you know, I'm cool where I'm at right now. Mm-hmm. Right. But if I can get more, then cool. No, you're, Realistically you're doing, you're doing speaking, I'm more job. likely gonna be around this area, uh-huh. the, the, the mm-hmm. six seventy five and everything. But by next year, I want to at least have one point one, one point two k. Okay. Uh-huh. That that's the goal. That's the goal. Because yeah. um, yeah. like, like I said, I want you need to play the dark picture anthology games, bro. Like uh, House of Ashes, Man of a Dawn. Yeah, because he's uh, like Little Hope. Because I like. Uh, I see you, buddy. I you know. like Until Dawn. Until Dawn. The I same would like people. That one. The same people. That I saw made you playing that. it too. I was watching your video. I'm like, Little Hope. That's the scariest one. Okay. And they're coming out with 
six or seven new ones, bro. And, and the, you have the devil in me. This is all season one. Mm-hmm. They're coming out with season two. I didn't know they came out with seasons like this. Oh, I'm like, wow. bro. And the way that they do it with every single one of the mm-hmm. games at the end, they give you a little sneak peek of what the next one's going to be about. Holy shit. That's what's up. And in each one of the, uh, when you first load in, mm-hmm. it shows you all of them. What each game is mm-hmm. is cool as shit, dude. Their intro is cool as shit. Fuck with their games heavy, y'all. Yo, yo, shout out to the Dark Picture Anthology Productions. Yes, uh, y'all's game is really yes, fucking. Yes, y'all's yes, games is really fucking good, bro. Sensation good. It, it really fucking is. Mm-hmm. High key, and that's coming from Smoke the Reaper. You ever get a chance to uh, play Wolf Among Us? I played Wolf Among Us, and that shit was fucking delicious. He said he told me. Jeff, you never told me how good Wolf Among Us was. No, for real, you didn't tell me how good this I'm shit like, was. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, and wait, speaking man. of, when is that coming out? What, the uh, the, the second, second one's coming out next year. Because they put they pushed it back. I think it's uh, around March or April. Or we gonna cop that? And we gonna we gonna stream yeah. that as soon as it comes out. That's gonna be good. Oh, so about GTA Six? What about that? I'm not paying 150 dollars. <laughs> you got me fucked up. Wait, is that starting price? That's yeah, starting that's price. starting price. And you know, because let's, it let, costs two billion to make. Let, let's talk about that right quick. <laughs> See, most people they don't understand this. For gamers, I'm a gamer. All right, cool. Mm-hmm. That, that's cool. It's already. <laughs> Y- y'all remember when you know games was like thirty, forty dollars, and we was complaining Word. about this shit. Yeah. Then it went up to sixty, seventy, and, and we're complaining about, about that now. Shit, yeah. You put a hundred and fifty fucking dollars. That means if we're willing to pay that, everybody else is gonna bunk their prices up. Word. Yeah, you're willing to pay a hundred fifty for that, but they are. Mm. But you're gonna be paying a hundred fifty dollars for the new Call of Duty. That's gonna be absolute garbage. Absolute yeah. shit. Fuck you, Call of Duty, and everything you're worth. That's that shit crazy. is ass. Oh, Call of, what Modern Warfare Three? Okay. okay. I'm going to take, look, Call of Duty has been straight booty cheeks, unwashed ass since... You what? Look, 2019, Modern Warfare, delicious. They, they're it. saying Modern, uh, Modern Warfare 3 was supposed to be a Modern Warfare 2. It's uh, a DLC! DLC. Bro, yeah. I'm so... You know how pissed off I would be if I paid for that shit? Serious? Bro, all it's it is, no bullshit. I'm not DLC, joking about this. Bro. I would wait for it to get on Xbox. They got uh, something called Open Missions. <laughs> Bro, let, let me, let me, let, There's look, only three. I, I got you with oh, this. Go ahead, bro. Bro, look, hey, I've been dying to talk about this fuck shit, and I'm going to tag him, and I'm going to specifically clip this shit for him and tag him. Your fucking games are complete and utter dog shit. I'm looking right at the camera, right at you, all right? It's ass. The new mechanics are ass. The new story is garbage. Mm. And let's talk about it. The fuck is, have you, have you seen the story? It's supposed to be. I mean, like, okay, have y'all played the original? Sh- yeah, the original Modern yeah, Warfare. Yeah, you yeah. guys are gonna be. Look, come here. Do y'all want to play it or no? That, that's all I'm gonna come say. What, do, the, the new trilogy? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to play it? Probably not. No. Okay. Well, but, Jeff, what about you? No. Okay. Well, spoiler alert. Uh, before and after. Uh, you've been warned, so just skip over this shit about oh, yeah. five minutes. Um. We all know how soap died. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. We all know how gas died. First of all, gas is not black. All right, gas is white. Let, let's let's get on that right quick. That shit pisses He's me like, the fuck I'm off. Not, we're not gonna let go of this. Huh? All right, that, that's one. Number two, uh, no. the way that they had a good story going. The, the 2019 Modern Warfare, they, it was introducing everybody mm-hmm. and how everybody came about. I'm mm-hmm. cool. I like that. Modern Warfare two, the story was it, it was cool. I'm not gonna lie. You're fucking up a little bit. I heard that motherfuckers who died in the first two games. Automatic suddenly came back. Well, one motherfucker who died in a tank came back in yeah, Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, he did. And then he one did. of them who betrayed tank. Price is all of a sudden working for them, is yeah. working with them now. Yeah, it's that's fucking crazy stupid. as far. So, number one, that's not Price. All right, I don't know who the fuck that imposter <laughs> is. Uh, same thing with Soap, but uh, same thing with Makarov. Makarov, don't even sound evil, Makarov, god and, damn it, what they, the fuck? Every single time they're talking, and they show this picture, his picture, it's him shirtless as fuck, and it's the same picture they use. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why you getting this bad, I will riled up, Jack. Stop <laughs> playing, man. He's trying to finish his questions. God damn it. Oh, man. We all know what old Makarov looks oh, like, right? Oh, bro, he looks sinister like a motherfucker, This bro. is perfect. Where does that look like Makarov at? That's be- the old one and the new one. No, uh, no, no, no. Where does that, that look like him? Like exactly. Macarov, exactly, thank you. So I say he looked like, <laughs> what's his name? The one who talks real fast. I'm not right on that. Like, he's really smart. You know who I'm talking oh, about. Oh, um, uh, the, uh, um, Sh- Shapiro. Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro. 
He does low key. Like what the no fuck? No fucking way. You see? No, it said that man look like Ben Shapiro, and then someone put his voice over every time Mac. <laughs> Bro, look. So we all know how Soap dies. Soap dies and uh, pretty much getting shot mm -hmm. by a sniper or Makarov. We to this day we don't really we know. We don't really know. Bro. All right, but well, he gets shot, sniped, all the sh and he dies and uh, prices arms. Okay, in this one, Makarov, where they're they're, they're they're defusing a bomb. Mm -hmm. Sheesh. And fucking Makarov goes to Soap and shoots him right in the fucking head. I'm like. <sighs> We gonna fuck up the story like Again, this? Again, dog. Like, bro, and they, they, they didn't give a damn. Bro. You what? Oh my fucking <laughs> god, bro. When I say my blood was damn. boiling, bro, I was Yes. <laughs> oh, Not man, only did you dope. fuck up the story, that's dope. but the fucking game is ass. ass. It's <laughs> ass. Complete <laughs> and <laughs> utter dog <laughs> shit. It's hey, ass. Ayo, what they, the fuck? They literally got like DMZ maps. No, the D. Oh, that, that Modern Warfare Three. Oh, it's a new, brand new game. Oh, you go fuck That's yourself. Crazy, All right, because how is it that you bring just Modern Warfare Two to Modern Warfare Three? Modern Warfare Two guns you're able to use in Modern Warfare Three. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I don't really give a fuck. By all means. Okay, DMZ is not DMZ no more. Now it's zombies. Now it's zombies. no zombies is no longer round based. And now it's just you got tier one, tier yep. two, and tier three. You got gray zone, orange zone, and red zone. So they're How basically it, just trying to make a bag. That's basically it. It's zombies true. is DMZ. Yeah. But that's all it is. Yeah. That's all it is. It. The bundles that they add on that some bitch are fucking utterly and hey, dog you get Nicki Minaj. That's I fun. don't give a fuck about that bitch. What? The? Nah. No, no it's disrespect, it's Nikki, but I don't give a fuck about you. All right, especially you're not supposed to be in Call of Duty. I'm sorry. I'm gonna keep it real. Uh, who, who else they had? Twenty one. Damn. And he don't belong in the Call of Duty either, man. Fuck him too. What the fuck? I don't even want to hear shit from that nigga. What? Bro, everything about oh, it, from man. the way. How is it that the Modern Warfare 2 weapons are stronger than the new Whoa. weapons? Make that make sense. I can have a bare butt naked ass gun from Modern Warfare 2 with no attachments. And the shit does more damage than the Modern Warfare 3 weapons that are supposed to be glorious. Make that shit make sense. That's tough. I go to zombies, the fucking game is not even fully released. There's fucking glitches everywhere. Fucking zombies walking in the fucking air like they're Jesus and shit. Like, what the fuck? I go up in the, in, in the multiplayer matches, every fucking thing, everybody playing like hoes. It's not like, it's this new generation <laughs> of Call of Duty players. Like, I, I can't oh, say dude. what I want to say. Oh, Bro, it, it, it's, it's fucking Ca horrendous. Catch the uncut review of Modern Warfare 3 on Smoke the Reaper Gaming. Catch them on YouTube. Dude, I streamed that shit. And Bro. midway up the stream, like, bro, this shit's boring. This shit's ass. Damn. High key. And I ended the stream Damn. early. Because wow. I plan on streaming the uh, the campaign. I wanted to stream at least uh, six, like four to six missions. Mm -hmm. I but it's only I, four campaign stories. It's 12 stories, but only four okay. of them are actual stories. So Everything else is like an open combat zone. Yeah, bro. It's open fucking Open combat garbage. zone. Wow. Yeah. They, they, so defuse 12 bombs. Plant eight bombs. Unlock twelve keys. And most of the Modern Warfare Three story is based off of the fucking DMZ. The DMZ, man. right? Fucking ass, bro. Oh, that's bullshit. That's crazy. Like I said, they just it they was, really it only was, have it like was, four cutscene stories, right? It was, a cash right. Grab. It was a cash right. Grab. Really, dude? I'm not joking. And I'm like, I argue with Mike all the fuck. I'm like, bro, this new shit is fucking that's dog right. shit. Well, the biggest but, issue with Mike is he's always trying to defend it, even if it's trash. Yeah, bro. I'm like, bro, let this this game. No bullshit. The franchise. The franchise should have died in Black Ops 2. It should, because that was the yes. last one that was That's really actually fucking good. good. Yes. The story was... Yeah, it, it was all right. It was but all right. The, the multiplayer was cool, and the zombies was zombies amazing. Was really fucking All right, let's keep yeah, it real here. Yeah. After that, zombie... Not even zombies, just fucking Call of Duty's been ass. ass. Like, it's just... It's steady <laughs> booty winkle, bro. It's uh, <laughs> booty, booty, fucking booty, ass booty. crumbs out this bitch. Uh, and shit. Then, and you, you brought back... Okay, um... You have World War II, which What's was 2017. It? That was an amazing ass story. Had good zombies, good multiplayer. That mm -hmm. game was slept on. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you released Black Ops 4, Four. that was absolute Same and right. utterly dog shit. <laughs> the future. <laughs> and they can oh, shut the fuck up. Base. Everything wanted to be the was worst advanced warfare. Fucking the worst Call of Duty they made to this day, and I stand on this on heavy disrespect. Call of Duty, Infinite Warfare. 
Oh, that see, fucking game was I said was ass. Advanced Warfare. I, I meant to say Infinite. If, no, Advanced I, Warfare I, was cool. I didn't realize it got worse after Advanced worse. Warfare. Advanced Warfare was cool. I could tolerate that one. Word. The story was amazing in my opinion. If you really pay attention to Jonathan Irons, he makes a really valid point. point. I feel Especially that. Especially with everything that's going on. Right, We're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk yeah, about it afterwards. I feel that. I feel but that was cool. That was tolerable. That, I'll, I'll say it's tolerable. Mm. Uh, Bo three. Only thing good about that was zombies. Campaign sucked ass. Was boring. Multiple it was. Mm. Oh, shit. Oof. Mm. And then. <sighs> what? What? World War two. Cool. Bo four. Trash. Mm. Twenty nineteen Modern Warfare. Delicious. After that, this shit has gone to straight and utter dog shit. Cause you had Cold War, Vanguard, Modern Warfare two, Modern Warfare three. This is. Four back-to-back games that have absolutely wow. sucked ass. Damn. Absolutely wow. sucked ass. And this is coming from a Call of Duty fan, bro. I'm a sore, bro. What the fuck? I started playing World at War. I see it right over there. Yup. Yeah, yup. World at War. That's 08. Mm-hmm. How the fuck we go from that to where I was able to look at you and shoot your fucking legs off with a shotgun to now when I shoot you with a shotgun, the fucking, there's no... Dis- you a sponge. You are yeah, bro, you just absorbing bullets. Just bullets. This motherfucker's the T1000 just fucking absorbing bullets and shit. And now, it, what, what gets me is the fact that you got these new ones. The liquid metal. What the fuck? Was that the T1000? He was liquid metal. Yeah. I'm dead. You got motherfuckers. Okay, you got your. Yeah, you, you had this nigga go on the entire rant. Look at you, Jeff. No, but hey, he needed, bro, because this is facts, man. No, bro. You're right, you're right. Gaming, the, gaming yeah. nowadays has gone to absolute shit. Nobody and, cares you know, it's, anymore. It's bad when I would rather play Fortnite than Call of Duty. Wow. And the new season of Fortnite is ass cheeks. I don't, I don't fuck with that. What season are they on? Like fourteen? Oh uh, no, I don't play they, Fortnite. It, bro, when I say like, because there's a Fortnite is fucking. It is fun to me. Right. It's what Call of Duty used to be to I me. Feel that. The new Call of Duty, I, no bullshit. I can tell you, I, I'll pull up the stats of how long I was on that game. No bullshit. Less than 20 hours. Yeah. Damn. For, uh, if we're talking about, like, I don't play multiplayer. Wow. I didn't play 20, uh, Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. That shit was ass. Damn, damn sure don't play Modern Warfare 3. It, this is how lazy they are. It, we know what shipment is, right? Uh-huh. That that map? It's, mm-hmm. They brought back Modern Warfare 2 shipment. Where is this creative at? Why? Why can't we have a different shipment? They have no right. ideas anymore. Like you said, they're just they're re- re- regurgitating. Bro. Yeah. And they, why are we using garbage shit? They did bring back Rust. I love Rust. I be fucking niggas up on Russ. All right, that that's my shit. You fuck around to find oh, out. Oh, Russ intervention. What the yeah. fuck? Like that that be my shit. Shipment, shipment is cool. If it's old shipment, bro. If we had if we had 2019 shipment, that should be Word. fucking lit, bro. Word. But no, we got this the shipment that's in the dark. Mm-hmm. And now you got the, they release these skins that is paid to win. Right. Call of Duty was not paid to win. Wow. If you pay, all you gotta do is put thirty dollars to a skin, and now you you automatically got instant more health than everybody. You're able to jump higher than everybody. <laughs> You're able to fucking do three sixties way faster than everybody. Like what the fuck Slide is this? Slide cancel shit? to but hell. They, they brought that back. Which I, I mean, I was cool with that. That was that was my Word. shit. Fucking Warzone, utterly dog shit. They should have left the old one alone because that one was fucking. That one, as much as it pissed me off sometimes, I had. So much fun on there. It was it was it was cool, bro. It was it, you play this new shit. You're like, bro, where? How is it that I put fucking sixty Six. rounds of armor piercing rounds into you and you don't die? You turn around and put three rounds into my neck and I'm dead. You what? Make it make sense. This does not. Oh my fucking god! I You're hate losing you. brain cells <laughs> thinking about it. I bet. No, that's tough, and that's people' money, bro. Well, they don't care no, though. Don't. It's just well, like, I heard the CEO forced them to put out this game before they sold off to Microsoft. Before they sold off to oh, Microsoft, so they just took shortcuts. And right. So and appa- just, apparently, the new one is they're gonna fuck up this. They already fucked up Black Ops and everything, mm-hmm. but now they're gonna be doing a prequel to this shit. It's supposed to take place after a prequel to Black Ops. A prequel to the prequel to the prequel to fucking Bo Two. Ain't the prequel World at War? So we're going to World War One. <laughs> it's just more bullshit. 
<laughs> bro, they're, they're, making, they're, they're making a game that's supposed to take place after. Why don't they Field do 2? Call of Duty fucking Genghis Khan or some shit? What the fuck? Like some ancient Call of Duty type shit, right? right? Like they do. Like, they'll, they'll fuck it up. I, what <laughs> like I really like ancient see? militaries like, or something. Like shit they do like Assassin's that. Creed, basically. What I would. Don't even get me started with them. Like, think about it. Like. Don't even, don't even get me fucking started with them. Yeah, yeah. yeah we gotta go through your questions. I mean, fuck you, Jeff. Made me lose my shit. Yeah, <laughs> man. Call of Duty. If they did Call of Duty World War One, I, I would play the fuck out of it. I feel that. That I feel like they could they could really that. take off. Like that's what that's what got Battlefield introduced. Right. Because Battle they did one. a really good uh, World War One. Yeah. Battle Battlefield. If they one. was to introduce the battles of uh like major battles and shit. Mm -hmm. Like you have like a couple missions where yeah, you're stuck at this point. Right. Shit. Call of Duty Civil War. Mm -hmm. You know how dope that would be? Like on some north south shit, mm -hmm. bro? And you doing campaigns for the north? And Who the you want to be the niggas? Yeah. <laughs> like come on, bro. They're taking you out west. The, the way that the shit's going, I can see that fucking happening because everything is Word, like, Call of Duty Civil right. War. Yeah. Right. Honestly, but not but, no modern shit. Like I wanna go back in time yeah. type shit. Call of Duty Ukraine. Tell me that shit when you hit. That probably Tell me if they made a Call of Duty that had. They're gonna wait. So I think blue, no, they until we do get. It. Yeah. Oh, you're no, I know they're gonna do it. They're they're, they're just gonna. Oh, wait. You, are you talking about after we fucking kick the bucket by this nuke? Wait, that's 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 all good. But um, if they made a Call of Duty, so if they remastered, uh, World at War, not reboot, Call of Duty. So you wouldn't it. consider World. Uh, World at War. If they remastered with better graphics, with the graphics oh, we got World, now, World, right? World. So and it, and they added more. Missions to it. I feel that. Tell me, dude. Especially more Japanese missions. Right. Because in uh, yeah, in, in, in yeah, Vanguard, sure. you had a, a lot of uh, Japanese missions. If right. you had more Japanese missions and more uh, Russian missions with that fucking game, beautifully. I feel that. Beautiful. It would be. It's that. already. That's a ten out of ten. I like. Bigger. I think some of the best missions were the Russian missions. Exactly. Yeah, if they was, that. if they was to focus on more of the. Uh, Battle of Stalingrad and everything like that. When when the um, Germans were invading mm -hmm. Stalingrad and everything, which they already did with um when they introduced you to Reznov and Dimitri and everything. Right. But when they start taking back Stalingrad and encircle the Germans, the Germans, that shit would be yeah. fucking lit. Tell me that wouldn't be a bigger, be bro. Crazy. That should be lit, bro. That'd be crazy. And that's Heck another yeah, thing that they <laughs> fucked up. I'm Let's telling you, bro. <laughs> bro, they, I'm you. telling you, that's tough. It's tough, man. Take a deep breath, sir. Take a deep breath. Yeah. I hate Call of Duty. I really I hate Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> you what? I, re I really fucking do. Because uh, they, they have fucked up. The, the Modern Warfare story is done because they have introduced so many people that, we, first of all, who the fuck are That you don't even care, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't care anymore. I don't, that, I don't that. not that I don't care, but how the fuck are these people anywhere near the original? Like, the original crew. This ain't the A-team, nigga. Like, what? I, I, like... I, that's crazy, this bro. This ain't a nigga Zord, bro. Like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, what the fuck? Like, Every day they want to bring in new people. Like, what was it? The Fast and Furious franchise and shit. Yeah. Hey, man. It was cool. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, That's what everyone keeps saying. Yeah. Like, how do, you do, how do you do good and then do bad and then do good on the last one? Yeah, I feel like... See, after after 7, that no. those other movies, like 8 and 9, X, were garbage. X was funny. Was it? No, it wasn't. I watched that movie. Yeah, and I have it on Blu-ray. It was and funny. I, I, sir, I saw it in the theaters. Yeah. Hey, we, Is that we the one like with that. Jason Momoa? Bro, that motherfucker plays a good-ass squirrely <laughs> nigga. And, and, Bree, and Brie Larson. Oh, yeah, he loves pissing people off. That's why I, was, I think it was funny. Because yeah. he didn't take anything seriously. But to them, it they're... Okay, so basically, he was like a fourth wall breaker. Okay. He was basically the jokester in the entire movie while killing everybody. And every time... <laughs> Oh, every shit. every time Vin Diesel was like, "I'm going to kill you," he jokes around. He's like, "Stop stepping on my car!" And then Brie Larson's like, <laughs> <laughs> "But they did leave. They're gonna make another one." Yeah, it's for X Part Two. Oh yeah, X2? and the way they brought the Rock back, they brought they're bringing everybody. Back. Yeah, their team they're doing they gonna fuck his shit yeah. up on Damn. this. One. Yeah, X Two, X Two, X Men United. So we about to see Wolverine. Now. It's some fucking Avengers type shit. God yeah, damn. just for the Fast and Furious. It, I think the end was just funny because they literally drove a car at, on the uh, down a dam and it didn't just it did it did this. It didn't even just do this. <laughs> That's crazy. I swear, fuck if gravity. Bro, I fuck swear, me. if Optimus come in this motherfucker, bro, I'ma die. That would be crazy, dog. Hey, 
<laughs> Witch Optimus. Let's really get into that one. Which oh. one are we talking about here? All right, because this this new shit, nah, I nah, tell you, that, it I ain't it. Oh, they did the GI Joe slash. Uh, oh yeah, um, Transformers. Yeah. Oof. That's gonna be tough. You are about to read your your question? All right, next question. Where we at? Okay, the first thing I see is this punk ass nigga again. I was, I, I got pissed off again. I'm not gonna Boy, lie. When I time, when I timestamp, this is gonna be like two hours. <laughs> oh, good luck, yeah. Rage baiting yeah. on uh, ah. Call of Duty. Well, well, gaming as a whole. Well, I'm gonna do the timestamps tomorrow. But. Gaming. No, you're pa- you're passionate about it. I get it, man. I, I'm passionate I it. about it, but everybody's biting off of everybody. Right. Fortnite's biting off of Call of Duty because right. yep. they're moving mechanics now. And I'm like, bro, if I wanted to play Call of Duty, I would play Call of Duty. Dude. Yeah, I feel like if I if I want to play Fortnite, I'm gonna play Fortnite. It's like everybody's biting off of everybody, and I don't want. I... Do you think? Do you think AI could save gaming? Nope. Give you a unique experience? Nope. You don't think? So? I'm not gonna lie. No, because it's the way everybody that plays now. It's not like when we was all growing up and everything, but we had a certain way that we was like gaming and everything. Right. Everybody now plays different, and it's all the new generation. Which you know, in my opinion, we need to whoop their ass. But you know, aren't you part of the new generation? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, the fuck, I'm you not. don't just put me in this. No, you said what? <laughs> fuck? Don't, don't put me in the rest of this shit. Man. Man. Look, everybody that was born from 2000 to 2002 is the last of the elite. Everybody born after that own generation because the right. 90s the kids mm-hmm. don't claim us we damn sure don't belong, belong to the new generation and we, you generation. know we're just our own peoples and shit like our own race our own the, island the and forgotten shit. z's mm. the like, forgotten day bro like I, gaming is really going to shit so what i plan on doing uh me and mike and my homeboy debo we are going to uh re uh Redo our World at War series because okay. I de- I deleted the um, all the footage all the content all the footage. I delete that's another thing. I deleted most of my older videos mm-hmm. because I said a lot of fuck shit in them mm-hmm. and I don't want to get you know flagged and everything and right because they try yeah. to re so I'm retroactive. Gonna, I'm more than right. gonna redo my uh, all the old series that I did and everything mm-hmm. that I brought my channel up and mm-hmm. everything and everything. That's awesome, man. So uh, it, either way, it's gonna be redone and everything. Show, I'm bringing back. Uh, uh, some shit that I stopped doing because I didn't have the computer to edit and everything. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, we we definitely gonna be doing that. That it's just more. Stay tuned, pretty much. But um, gaming, you know that. G- g- gaming, you know that. G- gaming. Mm. So the next one is uh, how was your, how does your uh, time in the street affect you in middle school, high school, and when did you meet Butterbean Gaming, Mike? Mike. So. I thought we. I thought you. You we, said we, how you met Mike in the last time we we spoke. Hey, look, I'll say it again. No, that's fine. That's fine. That's um, just it, all that's gonna tie into just one. Okay. One uh, big old final but, summer. When I was in street in middle school, it was seventh grade. Nobody liked my ass, bro. I was choke slamming everybody out this bitch, Shit. and I wish I was joking about that. But my homeboy Repetti, shout out to you, bro. Um, he remembers shit that I don't remember doing. Uh, he's like, bro. Do, he told me. And I know he he don't lie at all. He's like, bro, you choke slam a motherfucker through the Jeez. table because he tried to take your food. I'm like, well, that was warranted. Right. He like, tried to take my food. Right. And he's like, yeah. But then his homeboy, all he did was just like try to step in the way and try to get you off him. And you choke slam. Oh, his... so bro was collateral. Yeah. Oh, like, damn. You, you choke slammed his six foot ass into the garbage can. I'm like. Uh, I have no recollection of doing this fuck That's shit. Crazy. I'm not gonna lie to you, but uh, seventh grade, I had a couple friends. I, I wasn't worried about friends at all because I had you know my peoples and shit. I don't give a fuck less about any of you people because at the end of the day, we can step outside. And I'm gonna break your jaw at the end of the day. Like what, what's up with it? You know, none of you people had anything to say to my face. So, you know that's that. Um, oh, seventh grade. How'd you meet Mike? That's in high school. Okay. Um, yeah, so eighth grade, it was cool. Everybody was starting to focus me because I started talking to everybody and everything. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I've really met a lot of uh, cool peoples and everything. Um, like my homeboy, Repetti, I've known him since second grade. Damn. But he wasn't in the street with right. me. Gotcha. So, yeah, I'm the last one standing from the street, but he's the last one that I know from that time period. That time. That's how far back we go. I was on the same bus, same class, and everything, but 
Um, eighth grade, it was cool for the most part. Like I said, I got sent to ALC for something I didn't fucking do. I should have did it. Then it would have made sense. Like it made no damn sense every time that I didn't do shit. Right. I blame you for it. <laughs> well, every time I did something, that, do it. <laughs> it made no damn sense. Like what the fuck? Oh, but. Man. I uh, went to ALC and I met a lot of the, like the friends I got now. Yeah. So to this day, uh, I met from ALC, and like I said before, it was a like juvenile school and everything. It's still like that because now that I'm working for county and everything, mm-hmm. I'm able to go into these schools. Oh, like word, there. right? Because it's um, the school stuff and shit. Yep. Word, word. So it is still the same. There's still white ass, brick ass, degenerates, bigots, bigots. Mm. Yeah, man, it's still the same. They still mm. got the same prison door ass fucking classrooms and everything. Um, so cool. they just turned the prison into a school, <clears throat> literally. Pretty much. Oh wow. Okay. And I'm not joking about. They had guard dogs yeah. outside. They had a guard outside of every what classroom. What school was like that? The uh, the windows were all they was barred, uh, barred up yeah. and everything, which made no damn sense to me. Cause if I'm fucking you up, I'm slamming your fucking head into the bars. Okay, like what bars. the fuck? Like. <laughs> It made no sense to me, but, you know, I got released from ALC, went back to the school I was doing and everything, and uh, I graduated, even though everybody and their mother said I wasn't going to graduate. Mm. I have pictures to prove that shit. That's I had right. that fucking certificate. She had I boy, proud, she, bitch. She got a billboard of that yeah, motherfucker. That's real. <laughs> fucking, um, after that, I went to high school. I went to South Fort Myers. Uh, fuck that school. Mm. High key. Uh, the principal there, Mr. Matthews, I know he's still the uh, principal there. You racist fuck. Um... This dude, dead ass, no bullshit. Cause um, I was out a month because I was sick, and I don't I don't get sick, but when I get sick, I get sick. Right. Um, I was out a month, came back, I was behind on everything, and I remember I was sitting down at the the table, lunch table, and everything, and we had five minutes left till we had to go back up. He's like, the the principal was up, and he's like, can you take the tray? I'm like, yeah, I got you. I was going to do it when we fucking, when we left. Right, when we left. This dude comes back not but 10 seconds later, come with me. Oh, the shit. fuck did I do? Well, you got ISS now for five days. I'm like, oh, in school what? suspension? For, for what, what the fuck did I do? Well, you didn't take out the tray. Oh, word? Okay, cool. Oh, so I go crazy. there for one day. I don't show up again. And then he's like, well, we're going to call your parents and call them. So we go up into his office and no bush. I cannot stress this enough i'm not bullshitting this is exactly word for word he looked me in my soul when he said this shit it's always you and your kind oh i'm sorry you and your type that give me the problems that's no bullshit and i looked at him that's yep with the straightest of faces i looked at him (laughs) like hey yo what the fuck Look at my mom like, did you hear this fuck shit that just came out of his mouth? And my mom was just sitting there. I'm like, bro, if we can we whoop his ass right quick? Like, <laughs> That's nuts. Pull so after that, I, I get sent to uh to pivot, which is a, uh, a school where you was able to uh you know gather all your credits up right. and everything. It was a digital right. school and everything. Everything right. was done on computers. But problem with this is that these computers were in the fucking seventies and shit. It was nothing up oh, to date. Oh, old that shit. Bitch. Word. They had the nerve to sit here and say that you know. Oh yeah, you know. Computers and oh, we got a cafeteria, but you know we don't sell food here. Uh, you have two vending machines, but there's nothing in them shits. Never ask Mike. No bullshit. When, you, when y'all do the podcast and shit, ask him about that shit. He'll tell you. Wow. There was nothing in the vending machines. There was they didn't serve food there. Mm-hmm. It was just places where you to sit. I'm like, bro, I could sit at my fucking table, like where I'm already at. Like what the fuck? <laughs> so uh, I went when I got there. No, the same day I got there, I sat next to Mike. Mike mm-hmm. made a joke. I made another joke, and we've been cool ever since, bro. That's that was okay. that was back That's in 2016. That's fine. <laughs> Back when uh, he could tell you, bro, like like you had the pivot fight, but then you know the the muffin. I was terrorizing <laughs> where, they, where we fucking got separated and shit, and I had this bag full of muffins, and uh, we was hungry. They didn't have no food, bro. That's and crazy. How we got the muffins was I fucked up this one dude for his bag <laughs> because he looked at me sideways, and it was already three in. I got three hours of sleep i was tired and he looked at me so i actually just fucked him up and took his bag as a, you know like a souvenir or some shit and i fucking went upstairs and about 10 11 o'clock i look in the bag and it's stocked with nothing but muffins and pastries muffins? and everything Damn. 
Damn. And me and Mike, we're some fat niggas, and we was hungry as shit. And he's like, toss me a muffin. All right, cool. So we over here eating muffins and shit, and the principal of that school comes out. He's like, do you really have to chuck food across my school? Fuck yes, get out of my face. Bruh. We're going to write you up. It's a piece of paper, ma'am. I do That's not awesome. care. Like, what does a write-up mean in Pivot? Yeah. Like, they, and Pivot was another fucking juvenile Because school. if they permanently suspend you, that's what you most of the students aren't striving for, not to go to school anymore. So it's right. like, what's the point of doing that? Your goal is to help me, not suspend me. Exactly. And that whole school was set up to have you fail. Gotcha. I feel that. And like, I feel that. So we had well, the dude, incident. they don't even got fucking yeah. vending machine or cafeteria. Mm -hmm. yeah. like, that's crazy so, um, to me. End of the year came, and I, I did my shit. I went to all my classes. I knew what I was doing. I never failed a day in my life. The end of the year exam, I failed, and I never understood why till a whole year later. The principal didn't turn in our fucking Or our they shit. didn't submit your... They erased everything I did. Not just me, but 80% of the kids. And that's why 80% of that school failed. Oh, Cause you know, once you submit the test, they put yeah. the envelope. Because it seems so, and a lot of people already know I'm gonna get questions about this. Let me clarify: everything was done on computer. You have to submit it, and the principal has to overlook it and can choose what to do with um, it. And then after she's done with that, they have to submit it. It's a whole process. What does he get? Get uh, what does he get paid if you guys if eighty percent you guys fail? Is that how that works? Because that, that's that's, cra school, that's that's crazy to me. That school's not there well, no more. Why would you do that? But no exactly, bullshit. it was shady. So if you go on uh, Fowler, and it's across the street where that Circle K used to be. It's okay. like that. Oh, it's like that. Uh, that tinted window mm -hmm. uh, building. That's what second floor was pivot. No wow. bullshit. And it, I failed that, and from there on up, I'm like, yeah, I'm I'm cool with schools, bro, because it's been back to back years with this fuck shit. You know, okay. me not be me not doing shit, and y'all penalizing me, bro. Right. This has been year after year after year, and we just left the school because of this racist asshole mm -hmm. and shit. So I I didn't go to school after that, but um. I tried again when I was 17, and they fucked me out of my money again. They told me, yeah, you spend um, 100, you know, it was like 75 to take this course and everything, and you'll be able to uh, um, take the uh, the tests and mm -hmm. everything. I'm like, all right, cool. So that's what I did. I studied, passed all the tests and everything, and uh, studied even more, even have the book and studied that. And when I went, oh, no, you got to pay 175 bucks. A test. Oh, there's, shit. there's four of them yeah. shits. I know how you I'm feel. like, nigga, what? I know so how they're, you feel they're making well, sure they're making sure you guys fail. I feel it. Yeah, I'm like, and this is the only county that has this problem. The Lee County School Board sucks ass. I feel like I could sue him for this shit, but that'll be a long process. I, I, I'm too old for this, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's gonna be pride. That's gonna be money. It, exactly. I, I, money I ain't got right now. I'm poor. Boy, uh, <laughs> but yeah, man, this Lee County School Board sucks ass. It failed not just me, but a lot of other kids. If you, kids. if you ask a lot of kids or just people around my age that failed, ask them what really happened. They'll tell you exactly what the bullshit they had to go through. Because Lee County School Board. Isn't there care. a scandal with like they were reporting, you know, fake test scores or some shit yeah. like that? Oh, it was somewhere. It, it, it happened here somewhere where one of the schools was reporting fake test scores. And I don't know. It was like two, three years ago. They did a whole investigation on it. Yep. Because you know, every school gets a grade based off their literacy, yeah. and mathematics, and all that. And I guess one of them were submitting fake scores or they were altering students tests test scores because the better your school is the more funding you get yep so see what, what people don't understand like, i'll tell you this I'll tell you this off camera date people don't need to know this yeah, yeah okay but um I, I know they take all of the uh computers and tables and all this shit what? i know it's right up the road from where i live like what the what? fuck uh, okay you'd be surprised at how much the the schools have to spend right they're on, just not spending on the right thing on the right thing they, they, they spend it on new shit even though they just got tables and chairs and all this yeah, shit yeah. last year the fuck like it makes no sense because remember when we, in elementary when we used to go to like summer programs the teachers was would have us help them take out the old mm -hmm. tables because they were getting new tables before school opened. Facts. So, yep. I remember that. I remember it, that. It, it's just wild. Yeah. 
this county sucks when it comes to school boards and all that extra shit. And it's, it's... Yeah, I've had uh, some coworkers talking to me about like the issues they're having with their kids going to a specific school and it's a really good school. Yeah. And then this the county did some reshuffling with the school zones, kicked them out of this real nice school and sent them to this piece of shit place that don't even got AC. No like AC you know, in Florida? Dog. Oh hell no, bro. Like they're broken AC, like they are just getting like shitty books and shit like that. And this was like halfway through the school year and shit. Nope. Well, they were already used to going to this school for like four or five years, mm-hmm. and then county does a reshuffle. I wish a motherfucker would. Dog. <laughs> Took his kids out that real nice-ass school, bro. Yeah, that, to this, county, it, this county, if you really look into everything, it's fucking corrupt. Like it's weird bro. as hell, yeah. It's, it, it'd be wild, bro. Mm-hmm. It, it sucks. So it's hard for somebody like me because I know what I'm doing. It's not my first time seeing this. The right. GED test is easy. Right. Been, yeah, yeah, I sure. got taught this in seventh grade, bro. I know what right. I'm doing. But ain't gonna turn around and tell me I'm doing it wrong. Word. My sister is doing this like she's on some like college level shit. And she tried, which I cut her off. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'll tell y'all off camera. Word. But before that happened. Uh, she was showing me her paper. I'm like, what in the fuck is this shit? Like, what the fuck? See, hello, fucking formula. Dude, dude, it was like, why uh, a parenthesis bullshit equals <laughs> x to the second power. Divide that by three. That equals z. But find z to the third power. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Well, how the fuck does this even help me oh, remotely man. in life? Wait till you see what. Tetration is that's. Fucking I don't. I don't want. I don't even know what the fuck that is. I don't. Is I, I'm good. I don't. I don't know what the fuck that it's, is. It's another way of writing like dumbass big numbers. We're at the uh, two thirty-eight. It's been that long. Yes, sir. God damn. Well, shit. Yeah, I ain't. I ain't got no more. Oh, you. You ain't. Oh, really? Yeah, that, that was you went through all the oh, questions. Shit, yeah. Well, um. I would like to say if your audience is ever have any more questions, write them down, and then when we yeah, when really we bring you back next time next year, then we can we oh can, hell yeah we can Absolutely. definitely run through some new questions, man. But that's Absolutely. what's up, man. No, those okay. are just the uh, recent ones. I didn't even get a chance to look at all the older ones. Oh, the older oh, ones. You, you have no idea how I had to turn my fucking IG on silent. Oh, because it was blowing you. Bing, 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 bing. Oh, shut the fuck Jeez. up already. It was just what mentioned. I love y'all, but god damn shit. I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> oh, man. You what? God, did. But yeah, man, that um, that, that was that. It was it was cool, you know. That. No, that was. Well, you got any last words for our audience and your audience? Sensation. <laughs> 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 yeah, think about it. Uh oh. He's like, fuck. Hey, you can't put me on the spot like this. I like, hold on. Let me, let me think. My right, hold on. Words of quick <sighs> wisdom. If you're not subscribed to Tabletop Topics and Smoke the Reaper Gaming, your treason against the Empire will be remembered. You you fucked this up. Yeah, Sensation. You suck. You, you suck. <laughs> what are you <laughs> looking for? You know you're the button, man. You know what I'm looking for. The you should Empire. be able to read my mind. That, I got you. The Empire. What was it? The treason? The treason. <laughs> against the Empire, Vic will hold you accountable. And judge you. Execute. From the halls of Valhalla. That's real. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, shit, shit. man. That's but, hell yeah, man. man. Um, but on a serious note, here at the uh, Triple T Management and the Reaper Army, we wholeheartedly wish y'all a Merry Christmas. Yes. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Christmas y'all. Yeah, guys. This is our last podcast before Christmas. Yeah, yeah. 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 And... Happy New Year. Yeah, Just Happy believe. New Year. Yeah. Is that we, all? Is New Year's going to be on a Tuesday? That's no, that's also a Monday. Monday, yeah. Is it a Monday? Mm-hmm. Also a Monday. Huh. Yeah, it is because my birthday's a Friday. Yeah. It's also a Monday. Oh, I'm fucking cool. fucked. Let's go. Whatever uh, Christmas falls is uh, New Year's falls. But, uh, yeah, um, just stay tuned on both our oh, channels. Oh, for sure. We'll be yeah, sure yeah. To, be sure to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. 
You already know how we do. Yes, we always we're always pushing out content. Yes, sir. Yes, I know your boy's been lagging for three weeks. I get it. Fuck. But y'all got Dying Light Two episodes coming here real there soon. You go. Yeah, there yes, you go. Yes, sir. Right here first. That's what you look for. You heard it here first. Yup. Yes, sir. But uh, yeah, man. You know, just stay tuned because we're always pushing out heat. Even though you know sometimes they be doing rewinds, y'all gotta watch them anyway because some shits be right. funny we, as hell. Man. We there, there be some golden episodes we dropped last year before like. People started watching us. Mm-hmm. That's real. Or it's like they're still they still hit and they're still really relevant yeah, today. Yeah. You feel me? That's real. But but um you know it is your boy Smoke the Reaper yes, and sir. I'm up off of this bitch. Take it away, boys. Yes sir. Yeah, Vic, yeah. You know we always appreciate year, you coming yeah. by. Yeah for sure. You know and then saying? of course the next year we're gonna be doing a lot more. So especially yes, with you. Stay um, tuned. But yeah, stay tuned, man. We're gonna have a lot of new guests, a lot of new people returning back. A lot. I mean, I'm talking to people right now and seeing what's going to be happening next year, traveling while we're having conversations. I mean, you, you look like you want to say something. You Take go. us home, Jeff. Guys, thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. If you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pandora, Deezer, TuneIn, yeah, iHeartRadio, yeah. Amazon sure. Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok. So if you click on the links, it'll take you directly to the episodes. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and of course, leave us a comment. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us up at the <laughs> Tabletop. You have a good night, weekend, evening, and day, and I'll see you. After the holiday. See ya, see ya. Hey, ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And don't forget to subscribe to Reaper Gaming. What? Yes. Smoke the Reaper Smoke Gaming. Smoke the Reaper Gaming. Reaper Gaming. Oh, <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Smoke the Reaper Gaming. I'm joking, guys. I'm joking, guys. Oh, All right, y'all. Guys. All right. Ho, ho, ho. Have a good night. Ho, ho, ho. Enjoy the holidays, guys.